Welcome everyone to Let's Get On With It Live. Uh, yesterday, to celebrate Daggerfall's 26th anniversary and acknowledge the summer of 22's end, I brought back my most popular run, Celia Melkor in Linguist. Uh, with some modifications adhered to Daggerfall Unity, the first time I have done so. Well, tonight, while uh, there is very little time left in the summer of 22, let's continue. Because uh, this is going to be my final playthrough of Daggerfall for a while. This shit is not continuing into the fall of 22. Uh, beyond what's left of this run. <laughs> That is my sacred vow. <laughs> Two weeks from now. Hey guys, I got a new Daggerfall idea. Lethal just shoulder tackles me. So, Ursilia Melkor, level five. We are affiliated with the Archaeologist Guild and we're max rep, but definitely not max rank. I don't have a sufficient enough uh, language skill leveled high enough for that. Our skills are Daedric, Giantish, and Orcish as our primary. You know, those are very useful in our dungeon explorations and divings. We have Etiquette, Impish, and Nymph, uh, also very helpful in our dungeon diving. And then we have Centaurian, Dragonish, Harpy, Spriggan, Streetwise, and Archery. That's right. We have uh, nine language skills, uh, two tone skills that are also language skills with how they can pacify human enemies, and then a combat skill. You gotta... everyone needs a hobby, right? And our miscellaneous skills uh, that you can see have... some of them have rocketed pretty high because it's very easy for this character to train up skills, yeah, given that her skill advancement dagger is at its minimum. Point three. Critical strike up to 26%. Dodging at 19%. Even some magic uh, skill training from the usage of magic items. Uh, what does this help with? Nothing. You see, uh, Elder Scrolls II Daggerfall does not have your magic skills factor into the effectiveness of your spells at all. Absolutely zero. It's entirely level-based. Uh, and uh, how the spell, like, mechanical formula is designed when, like... Either like in the spells you buy or the spells you make. Uh, what your magic skill level does is adjust how much magic it costs. So that does absolutely nothing for us. It's certainly a design choice. But it, it's part of what contributes to more levels are almost always better. We have 40 strength, 85 intelligence, 34 willpower. We're distracted. That's that's how we are in life. Distracted. 41 agility, 70 endurance. We're hardy. 83 personality, 77 speed. Fleet-footed. And 39 luck. Unfortunate. That's us. 69 hit points at level 5. Um, the linguist has been set to max HP per level of 8. So combining that with our endurance modifier of 2... Uh, we get between 6 and 10 hit points per level. As for advantages and disadvantages, we have many. We're resistant to magic, which is fusing with our Bretonian resistance to magic. Um, you start with a base 50 and resist. Being a Breton adds plus 30, so 80. Then we have resistance to magic, which is adding plus 25. That's over 100. And then, uh, in the biography, I selected that we had problems resisting magic for a minus 5. So, 80 plus 25 is 105. 105 minus 5 is still 100. Thumbs up. And along the way, you may have noticed that we have not been paralyzed once, uh, even though we should be. Whatever. We're immune to poison, fire, and shock. We're an expert in missile weapons, but we have a phobia to undead, danger humanoids, and animals. Uh, we cannot even begin to fathom the idea of what it would be like to cast a spell. And so that I don't get as many hit points per level, I picked up Acute Hearing, which is whoop de doo and picked up Rapid Healing General, which is whoop de doo uh, 
This white, it, I think that's really a reach. Like, you're, you're really working hard at that joke mining. You've been a long time, but that's a real, that, that's, they can't all be winners, right? Let me tell you what my sick list doesn't consist of. <laughs> Immunity to shock. <laughs> Rapid healing general. <laughs> As for our character's inventory, we have a dwarven longbow. We have the Lord's Mail. It's the Mail of the Lord directly. That is an artifact item. Which is a pretty, pretty shoddy armor. But uh, the spells it has on it, Cure Poison and Spell Shield. Should I deign to activate it? Our armor is a mishmash of various elements. Our most potent piece of armor there is that elven left pauldron. We've got an enemy dagger that I use every now and then to pry a door open. And, uh... Right, we're still wearing that dumb strapless dress. <laughs> it looks like a tabard. We've got our marker recall, courtesy of the Archaeologist Guild, and two magic items that uh, we've received as payment for services rendered through the Archaeologist Guild. Letter of credit worth 364 gold, some potions interspersed with locator devices, and that's the uh, character's inventory. We have a hot bar down there, courtesy of a modification. It also shows item durability, which I find to be really, really spiffy. We're dependable. We have positive rep here in the Daggerfall region. Not a lot of work for the Archaeologist Guild. Let's see. Time of day, and I'm broke, right? Basically broke, yeah. So what's on the agenda today? Um, we're gonna do some more stuff at the Archaeologist Guild. Uh, it's gonna be some quest repeats, but it's just gonna be an oh excuse God, for me to go into a dungeon. 100 bombs. From Nobly and Big and Dread. Thank you. I will cherish this. I appreciate it. I'll let Big Twitch know. Hey, the Guild Hall is not gonna be open 24-7 for me because I haven't gotten my promotion from them yet. If I check my handy-dandy book, yeah. They haven't given me my promotion yet. That's fine. So why don't we just go to bed for 12 hours? Um, well... Items 3, 4, and 9 are all magic items whose durability declines when they're used. So yes. 9 is the marker recall... Uh, three is uh, the Wizard's Fire Bracer, and four is like the Torque that does Ice Storm. Yeah. Listen to the rain out there. Listen how immersive that is. Beating on the building. Shut up. <laughs> how far along am I to level six? Okay, 46% of the way there. Enjoying the lower levels as uh, the opportunity is afforded to us by us really being able to control when we level, since so many of our skills are language skills. No, Lethal! No! You're not no Faga! You're not no Faga! <laughs> All right. Give me a quest. So petty politics again, that didn't really pay much. Uh, these three I was holding off on courtesy of, well, me not having a sufficient language skill level. Wolfie, I want to keep my spine, but I will take the 500 bits and I will snuggle with them. Uh, and they'll keep me warm at night, even though I have zero problems staying warm, and I don't actually use covers for most of the year because of temperature. <laughs> Glad we could confirm that, Lethal. So, Skeletons in the Closet turned out pretty alright. Yeah, that could uh, potentially award me a, uh, a useful magic item, too, if, if that holds true. Instead of pay. Of course, I would like money, but we could probably make 
make some money on the dungeon. Skeletons in the closet, please. The Lair of Uthastair. Uh, we'll read this again. We try to avoid contemporary politics where possible or silly. The last thing we need is some monarch throwing a temper tantrum and beheading some guild officials simply because someone says something inconvenient to the royal family. That, I will now say, is our current predicament. Apparently some wizard identified a few bones down in the lair of the Uthastair that relate to someone's long-lost ancestor of some kind. The details are complex and uninteresting, but Daggerfall wishes to keep the people in the dark and our failure will bring serious consequences. Will you be the one to resolve this crisis? Will you build a civilization to stand the test of time? Yes, I live in the state of South Carolina. Our temperatures remain toasty uh, here at the end of summer still. Better days are ahead, Ursilia. Are they? Are they? <laughs> are better days ahead, chat room? Hmm. Sounds like wishful thinking. Maybe that's something you just have to hope for so that, uh, you don't just, like, collapse in horror. I do have a weighted blanket, and I do enjoy it. It's just... Yeah. A gravity blanket, even though, like, it, it does a pretty good job with temperatures, because that's how you can buy those blankets. So that it doesn't have to entrap all the heat. Some days, just too much. But I think uh, it's also an issue where I've I I sleep without blankets so often that I'm just no longer used to the. Uh, there are times that I feel the pressure on me, and it's just not comforting. So I'm currently looking for a sack in here. That, does that book worth zero gold? You, I'm not carrying a two kilogram tome worth zero gold. I'm already doing that for the archaeologist guild. Get the hell out of here. Not even reading you. You can't have anything of value in you. Is that a giant? That's not good. Yeah, mine came as a Christmas gift, and, uh... There was some consideration given in mind, in part because I didn't even click that. I just, I just like pushed it with my with my body. My God, of where I lived. I didn't go into that other door down there. One moment. That's right, Spider. That's right, Harpy. 405 gold pieces right in here. Delightful. I'm here for loot and prizes. And rather than take that elevator, because it's clearly haunted, we're going to climb up this wall. Pass the Hanged Man tarot card. I'm going to get swatted out of my jump by that giant scorpion. I'm going to wonder whether I'm actually threatening to hit the scorpion. We're going to have the harpy come up behind me. And you know what that means? That means we are going to take the fucking elevator. Fine, you've convinced me. Well, the scorpion on one side and the harpy on the other, there's not a whole lot of room for me to back pedal. I'd have to start burning through magic item charges. Maybe let them fight. Monster infighting is on. A feature brought to you by Daggerfall Unity. Well, thank you for just, like, standing there and derping anyway. It's very thoughtful. <laughs> While I was having trouble clicking on the lever. Ah! 
Hi. How's it going? You wanna you wanna help me? Experience points aren't a thing in this video game, so what do I care about getting kills? Game doesn't even keep like a, a tracker of how many creatures you've killed. Now that would be an interesting thing. Here's how many denizens of Daggerfall you've slain. Iron Tower Shield. Take that arrow. <laughs> That's right, we're making progress. Though it doesn't overflow. So there's no benefit to being an overachiever. Now, thanks to this Dwarven Bow, we are capable of hitting Harpies. Uh, harpies require material of Dwarven or better to hit. That's their thing. Assholes. Alright, let's check up here. We could find our quest sack up here. <laughs> yes, Lethal, you sure have. Hmm. It's gonna be an awkward location. Let's try coming at the scorpion from above. I'd like to go into that room that's uh, next to the scorpion. As uh, that could be a quest location. Lock has nothing to fear from me. Take that, Lock. All right, take your shit. I will take your money. Hello, Harpy. How you doing? We're working through a lot here. Just because uh, my character is an expert at missile weapons, we still have phobias. Just trying to somehow win these combat rolls, you know? One step at a time. We looted this, yeah? Yeah. I can't carry too much out of these dungeons. So much for me coming at the scorpion from a different angle. It's not like I'm permitted to use my bow while in air. I know, bullshit, right? We'll just roast that scorpion. Okie dokie. Except for the archaeologist mod, I... Let me, let me phrase it like this. The Archaeologist mod has been delightful. It has been a great match for Linguist 2.0. Like, it's just a really great addition. But if I don't factor that in, this hot bar, I'm gonna have a hard time playing this game without this fucking hot bar. <laughs> Not having to cycle into this screen to use the magic items, just push a number right down there. Ugh. How could I even play the game again? I know, right, Lethal? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so, I come into here. I hold down 1 through 9. I left-click on an item. It goes to live down there in my hotbar. Then at any time, I can press one of the numbers. Like, I can swap to my weapons from here. You can see the item durabilities down there as well. It's a real fucking time save. All these key presses. <laughs> you know what, Lethal? Maybe they should. You just see, like, in small font, like, winning the game. Hey, spider. Instead of eyeballing an item to see how much durability it has, or cycling through my inventory, or the Use Magic Items page. No, it's right there. Waiting for me. It's great. What isn't great is seeing this module.
Well, that, that already existed in Daggerfall Unity. You can see that counter next to the compass rose. But yes, that is down there in the hot bar, too. Since I was, uh, going to be using one mod, the Archaeologist mod, for Linguist 2.0, I figured I would, uh, try out a few other modifications. And I am liking what I see. That doesn't mean I will play with modifications in the future when I inevitably return to Daggerfall. I might even go the opposite direction. Classic Daggerfall. On my Pinium 2! <laughs> He's taken to refurbishing computers. Just figured I would, uh, take all those arrows so I could collect more arrows. That's a, a 300 IQ move on my part. I don't wear this hat? Or this hat? This hat? Or 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 this hat? I'll wear this hat. these graves out of here. Take those arrows. <laughs> Affing! Help me! Jumping, stealth, climbing, backstabbing, dodging, running, destruction, archery. Oh. <laughs> what kind of pronunciation of archery was that? Archery? <laughs> like, where the hell did that come from? <laughs> Uh, that was the, that was the southern lazy tongue at work there. Is the, the draw, the South Carolinian draw coming in. <laughs> Darling, it's time to practice your arch, archery. <laughs> No sack up there. There is a rat over there, but who gives a fuck? Caw, caw. Mm. That's awkward. I gotta make that. Okay, I was saying, I gotta make that jump. <laughs> Me rising from the heaven uh, into the heavens has attracted the ire of a couple of harpies. Good, you died from fall damage. That's how it's supposed to be. Something I have been enjoying of late in Daggerfall Unity is killing flying enemies from fall damage. It makes me happy. Yeah, yeah, successful backstab. Fuck you. Eat a dick. <laughs> There is no door down here in this section, right? Yeah. Alright, welcome, welcome in everyone to the dungeon's wine racks. Sometimes there's siege engines down here. Um, The elevator? Uh, monster infighting? Monster infighting didn't exist in... Daggerfall Unity. I'm not exactly sure what you're referring to with the question. I'm not saying I shouldn't be sure, but I'm not sure. Oh, flying enemies? Um, I cannot recall an instance of a flying enemy taking fall damage. I... I currently could not say for sure whether enemies do take fall damage in Classic Daggerfall. And I like to think I would have known that answer just four hours ago. <laughs> but now, if uh, we were playing everyone's favorite game, Gun to Your Head, 
I, uh, I, I might have to say shoot me. It was self-assisted suicide, Your Honor. <laughs> You're gonna have to get Yagami out in the cage to argue for you in court, Lethal. Rat, please. You're the one who started this shit. Is it just because I startled you? It's because I have the dagger out. Uh, when you have the bow out, enemies will come at you no matter what. But uh, in the advanced combat AI, uh, when you got a weapon out, they want to... They want to bob with you. You know, bob. The bob. That bear died from fall damage falling into the water. Which you can't do in this game. Spider, please. Please adhere to the laws of... Not phase. I guess it could be a phase spider. Those do exist. Sorry for filling your minds with that mental image. <laughs> yes, a locker baby. Twenty-six years ago. Uh, check the tape. This cell phone footage right here conclusively proves beyond all doubt. <laughs> Well, it's a shame he's not here to confess to that, to support your spurious claim. But you did shoot him. And I'd do it again, too. <laughs> he was a dear friend of mine. This is a quest location in here, so let's pry the door open. Lethal. I need you to shoot me. There might be an are you sure, but then Lethal will shrug and say, okay. <laughs> Won't even give me time to have like, like second, like, <laughs> like second doubts. <laughs> yes? Have you missed anything fun and exciting? Well, it's Daggerfall. So every moment is a new and exciting and wonderful moment. We're gonna make this jump, right? Now we're gonna use Advanced Climbing, brought to you by Daggerfall Unity. Dirt, 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 dirt. We're gonna dodge that trap because we're grand masters at everything pertaining to Daggerfall. And it's easier to d dodge that than the damage floor in uh, different versions of this module. However, I'm not going to find my quest target. But that's so cark. Is we're gonna go here into our inventory. I'm gonna look at this. The locator device vibrates and hums into action. You now see a bright disc in your mind when looking in the direction of your desired target. So let's look around for a bit. Okay, our quest target is there. Ow. Ah! Good, we didn't take full damage. Barely trained that entire full unity. Maybe I actually didn't fall far enough. Who can say for sure? <laughs> right. Well, I'm glad I could point that out to you, XSI. I know. Horizontal climbing? Being able to stop mid-climb in the process of that? Hello? Are you ready to duel? What I didn't see was a mod to fully restore my head bobble back to how it is in classic Daggerfall. I have that shit cranked up to as high as it goes in Daggerfall Unity. That's not that's not the head bobble. 
Like, when I get hit, I want to know it and how hard my head swings. <laughs> this game doesn't cater to, to all of my needs and it's complete bullshit. Grimoth squints at the video game. I guess I can go back and use the uh, the dungeon entrance while I'm. No wait, no, no, no. I misplaced me. No shit, it's in that pit. I hopped right over that. Huh. I didn't realize it could be down there. That's a valid quest location. Maybe I have seen that at some point before with like a quest monster target. Eh, all right. Save me some hassle. Thanks, locator device. Dog. <laughs> Please, dog. <laughs> This bag radiates a subtle magical power. Its only obvious effect is that it appears to be well-maintained. Whoever gathered these bones knew they would have an important story to tell. Yeah, I looked in other, like, like quest locations here, but uh, I'll have to keep in mind that with this version of the module, uh, I could be down there in that pit. All right. Let's go to Intel. Good work, locator device. And the locator device comes with the archaeologist guild. Uh, they give you one for free when you join the guild, and every quest you do for them that involves a dungeon dive, they will give you one. I haven't used one for all the dungeons I've been in. And you can also buy some, but, I mean, I'm a fucking dungeon master. 1,274 gold pieces. Okay, so there wasn't a uh, possibility, like, so it's not 100%. Hey, here's a magic item. Offered as a different reward. Okay. I am ranking up. I am ascending in power. Ah. <laughs> Just like that. Got a bunch of ingredients to sell. We have a few gold pieces on hand. Only a few. All right, let's get some training in. Daedric, please. Sure. This is the training overhaul mod that I've got on. Um, instead of the the training price scaling on level, it scales based on the quality of the guild hall you're in and how high that skill is. Uh, mercantile and personality both do factor in lowering the price, uh, just as if you were in a shop. And so there is, you're getting a little bit of extra value out of mercantile and personality. It's raining. I don't even need anyone to point up at the sky and tell me it's raining. Daedric, mercantile, stealth climbing archery. Congratulations, Rosilia! Because of your outstanding work for the guild, we have promoted you to the rank of apprentice. <laughs> Good. God, I went from field officer to apprentice. Is that seriously the name of the fourth rank? <laughs> hey, yeah. Field assistant, field agent, field officer, field director, apprentice. Okay. Now we have 24-7 hall access and avoid death. Wish you would have told me more about the avoid death thing. You just gave me a congratulations for the promotion. What does avoid death mean? Is it like being a member of the Temple of uh, Stendar? What is it me? It is a mystery to everyone. Oh. Oh, I get it. It's like a it's like a benefits package for okay. For my family, I see. Yes, yeah, cuz dungeon delving is very 
very dangerous, I understand. Thanks for cluing me in, Lethal. I knew I could count on you. I'll consider not dying, though. I'll take it uh, under advisement. Oh, man. The Fighters Guild just closed. Well, these folks are open 24-7 for me. The Fighters Guild is not. Uh, go to a tavern, sleep. Or I could just travel here cautiously. I will go to a tavern. No big deal. <laughs> My money manager? Oh, right. That's the tavern that says it's a tavern, but it's not a tavern. It's a residence. Music, please. Give me a room. Give me some wine. That's right, Thunder. The storming has only picked up outside. <laughs> Very good. Most of the way to level six now, courtesy of the, the training I did. How you doing? Any news? Can't think of any. Do you have any news? Since I have nothing to say, okay. Tell me about the Thieves Guild. Give me your extra resources. Yes. Why are you in my house? Tell me about the necromancers. You neither know nor much care. You don't care about THE necromancers? Bill Necromancer? I'm not going to use this bow anyway. Let's keep it anyway to back up. And also, I have nothing that would sell at a general store. It's only like pawn shop stuff and ingredients I got. Hmm. I guess I could just travel somewhere else. The Order of the Lamp is the knightly order that protects the less combative oriented mages of members of the Mages Guild. The Order of the Lamp devoted to the sacred lamp spell from the first Final Fantasy game. Sounds nice out here. I like it. It's time to leave, though. I gotta go sell some shit. Tamwick, please. Alright. Still raining. There are enemies nearby. Oh! Hello! Goodbye. One more hour. Yeah, absolutely, Rezo. What else do I have in the wagon? I really don't have anything to sell beyond that. Hmm. Alright then. Mostly just got hard currency after that dungeon dive, which I spent on training my, uh, my danger. Okay. Your mercantile skill has improved. Well, the guild hall's open 24-7 for us, so let's go get something different.
Well, you could pick different skills that would also not be inclined to level uh, immediately without, like, active effort on your part. Pickpocket, swimming. You could slap some magic skills in there. You could slap some weapons that you would not use. Or, of course, these languages. Maybe you just never jump ever anywhere. You could also have the skill advancement dagger higher. You know, mine's at the absolute minimum. You could, say, remove the restrictions involving spells. Alright, archaeology. Voices of the dead. Tell me more. If you're feeling particularly brave, we have a request to unearth an object in some ruins that could prove a bit perilous. If you're going to accept this one, make sure you're combat ready and capable of harming the supernatural. Well, so long as it's not a fucking mithril or higher thing, and even then I do have some magic, yeah, sure, I can harm the supernatural. I'll mark ruins of the Ash House farmstead on your map. The torque you'll recover has caused some trouble with the dead. I'd think you would be doing them a favor by removing it, but perhaps rational thought is expecting too much of them. Have it here by 28 days. You'll be given a training session as a reward. Yes, 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 yes! <laughs> I mean... <clears throat> so, the skill advancement dagger... Uh, influences how many checks with a skill you need to level that skill up. And how many times you, like... like, And as your skills level, you get progress toward the next level. Yeah, that's what the skill advancement dagger determines. How easy or hard it is to level up your skills. Okay, so presumably I'm hunting a monster in here. Okay. That just got a little bit of a size to it, and I'm seeing this room off the bat. Hey, I've been in this dungeon before, just not on this run. Hello, spider. I didn't even see it down there. Could have considered getting my bow repaired. It'll probably hold out. Probably. Not exactly looking forward to seeing you, skeleton warrior. You're gonna take a few shots. Skeleton Warrior and its unique damage resistance. It takes full damage from bludgeoning weapons and it takes double damage from silvered weapons. Is the only such enemy in the Elder Scrolls 2 Daggerfall. So this shit, I ain't dealing full damage. Go away! <laughs> it's a situation where I would prefer to fight a like a different undead that would typically be labeled as harder Well, it looks like you already have in mind what a linguist is, so why would you need my input on the on the situation? As I noted, skeleton warriors are the only enemy in the game. <laughs> I'll repeat that. <laughs> 
that have uh, those two, like, like a more granular damage vulnerability or resistance. Other enemies in the game, uh, some enemies have like a material requirement so that lycanthropes, for example, can only be hit by silver weapons or better. You know, an ancient lich can only be hit by mithril or better. Harpies can only be hit by dwarven or better. Now anyway, let's go open that trap door. Right, that's the size of a dungeon. I could take this way, sure. Our character has come, uh, you know, some ways. So, uh, rats we can actually deal with. Which is good. You can do this kiting with slower slower characters. But the extra speed does help. And mummies are really nice to fight because they drop cash. Okie dokie! So this is one, uh, this is another mod I added. Normally you would get like a warning like this if you're fast traveling. But if you, if you try to rest, you're not told shit. So if you go to rest and you've been afflicted by a poison that has like a like a longer onset delay, you could end up just resting to your death. Even though that's the sort of thing that you would probably wake your character up in, I don't know, 90 seconds? So I thought that would be a pretty comfy thing. And uh, now we're gonna see if I can get the hell out of here with some expediency. As in like, complete the quest before leaving. I have been diseased. Likely by one of the mummies that hit me. But it could also have been a rat. Hello? How you doing? Hey, you wanna you wanna open this door for me, whoever's on the other side? No? Cause it's a rat. Alright, my quest target's not back there. Here, rat, let me release you from this this prison. Yes, I know how to commune with the ancient skeletons of old. I don't have a potion of cure disease, right? Right. Let's, uh, catch two Zs. Okay. Zs do have their incubation time. So we've got uh we got some we got some time. I 
anything about other like quest locations I want to check before I leave this uh, this module. I'm presumably hunting an actual monster, uh, undead monster, though I don't know what flavor of undead it will be. Huh. Wasn't expecting that to actually lead into... Alright! Let's check. Fuck my life. Get out of here! <laughs> uh, you, you don't know how the game operates, though, because... This is a quest designed by J.H. in the Archaeologist mod created by Hazelnut. So, I'm gonna go ahead and make an official ruling on that. <laughs> Try magic holy water. Probably not a cast when equipped item. module, and, uh, good to know that... Yeah, I can see it. Mums. Oh, hey, level four. Nine hit points, four attribute points. So it goes. Excuse me? Yes, now we're in this uh, little bridge section area. The rope bridge of justice and truth. Nah, yeah, we are. I just gotta lead down into it. I'm pretty sure. So we'll be beneath the bridge. <laughs> Mommy, please. Accept my love. Pouring a lot of love into you, mommy. <laughs> I 
There we go. Really enjoy the level of customization? I hear you, and I understand. Now you're full freeware, so it's it's always there waiting for you. Bad game release has got you down. Disappointed by something else. Well, cheer up. Play some Daggerfall. Go into a dungeon and start crying. <laughs> we'll go this way. Potion of stamina by chance? I do not. Okay. It's enough out of here. Okay, I can have a quest location. Not in that room, but over in this section. That's what I'm here to check. Hi. That's cheating. You're not allowed to take that route. Think of it like Mario Kart. You're not allowed to go that way. Just, just power sliding and drifting. Singe your body into the moonlight. All right. Dragon scales are pretty heavy. They're worth a bit, but they are pretty heavy. Anyway, my target was not back here. Aether Heart's pretty nice. Must be an enemy. There we go. I was like, that spider had to have been distracted by something. This isn't enough of the dungeon to warrant away. No, it is. Huh. I see. All right. If anybody asks you where I'm going. Right, dead ends me. How do we get back to that module? Right. That's how. Okay. I didn't finish clearing this module. Which I knew I hadn't, but... I checked some locations in here and then went fucking gall galloping off. Okay. 
that's gonna lead to a dead end room. There's gonna be another like hall down here that's gonna take me to that section where that's gonna be. Alright. I will check this door though to confirm it does dead end. Yeah. It could have gone somewhere else, though. It's right, skeleton. <laughs> that should dead end back there, too. That's enough out of you. It's like catch catching like little little snoozes. Disc is gone. Guess this doesn't last for the entire. No, there we go. I had to look in the direction of it again. Had to reassert uh, eye contact. I just keep getting my encounter powers back. That's what's happening here. Whoop. This bow will definitely have to be repaired when we get back to town. No, it's not going to be up. Well, I did say I would rather fight mummies than skeleton warriors. There's my chance. If I was wielding a blunt weapon, I'd feel different. Cannot carry any more gold. Alright. We are overburdened. The weight of the dragon scales. We all have to uh, clear out some space for whatever fucking torque is gonna drop from this uh, quest target. Dead end room. Cannot carry anymore. That takes us into this section, which does, like, loop into, like, this module, but doesn't take me, like, towards my target. Is dead end? Yeah. Okay. Let me think of how I get elevation in this module. I guess it could be through that module, huh? 
That also sounds like it's going to just be a skeleton warrior. Which... Sure. How that differentiates from all the other skeleton warriors in here, uh, I don't know. Get out of here, Baldur's Gate! You must gather your party before venturing forth. Let's, uh, do a bit more of a, a jog here. Let's just gotta loop around in all of this and not actually lead me to a place. That could have a, some good loot in it, though. Yeah. I can't care. Excuse me. I'm busy right now. This is going to lead me to a higher up place in the cave module. It's going to lead me back to here, which is not where I need. Okay. Let's go back down here. And it's going to be an excuse for me to sleep longer. Attribute's still looking good. Okay. Slow incubation. Dead end room. Let's map this out. Holy Tome, uh, that's worth dropping one of these. For sure. See if I can, uh, get up to there by taking a different route through this portion. Hello, mummy. Hello, other mummy. Hello, other, other mummy. Hello, other, 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 other mummy. Hello, caves. I do not appreciate you still continuing to exist! Potion resist poison? Not necessary for this character. Shut up! Should not cast that. Oh, hello. Hmm. Hello. <laughs> Get the skeleton. Yeah, skeleton, you're very ferocious. Don't let anyone tell you different. Actual gold's gonna be worth more than that other scale. 
sheer carrying capacity there. Yes, yes, I can hear the enemy who's nearby, okay? You feel somewhat bad. You've contracted stomach rot. It is a permanent condition unless you are cured, characterized by a slight daily drop in health. You have contracted consumption. Okay, we have two ongoing diseases. Good, good, good. I have stomach rot and fucking tuberculosis. Or just lead to various dead end rooms. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. There we go. What do you mean I, I can't carry anymore? I am overburdened. Hmm. Oh shit, right, my strength's been lowered. Yeah, yeah, no wonder why I can't carry anymore. Right. I'm like, what do you mean? I should have room for that. And I will have to drop uh, several kilograms of stuff to carry what other, whatever items coming from this uh, quest target. So it goes. We've been double diseased. Fuck. Okay. What do you mean I can't figure out where exactly I want to go in this module? And it's just dead ends as well. Yeah. It must be through the caves. I guess one alternative would be for me to go down. Go, uh, uh. Ah. I mean, I've, I've done a lot of Daggerfall dungeons, so I really couldn't consider this as payback for one thing or another. I want to misplace my location in the dungeon. This has got to lead back into a different module, though, right? Yeah. Well, that could curve up and take me to where I want to go. You reach it to pick up the torque the guild sent you to find. You're surprised to see an inscription on it. Must remain underground. Warning or not, you have no choice. You grab it and put it away. The air turns oppressive. You're concerned the dead have only grown more agitated now. Good, I didn't need to clear out space of my inventory. Free of the haunted depths, you reach back and look for the torque. Do you horror, or you find it dissolving into dust? You try to grab at it, but within moments it is mere powder. The only thing remaining is the inscription, it must remain underground. You hope the archaeologist will still accept it. You show... Vanya Kingham, the dissolve remains the torque of the intact inscription. After burying her face in her hands, she pounds the wall out of frustration. Curse, torque. Very funny. What a waste of time. I can't take this out on you, though. You did your part. First, take your gold reward. Uh, as for, uh, we'll take a complimentary uh, training session in Orkish. The gold will be on the ground. We'll clear out our inventory. So I can pick up the gold. And then, uh, it's a mission accomplished. So huzzah for that. I didn't have to get... That was another item hunt, then. I thought I would find the torque on an undead. I'm gonna go to, uh, the Temple of Canareth and see them about my stomach rot and consumption. 
and any other disease I may have been afflicting uh, with yet, but hasn't reached maturity. Before I keel over due to attribute damage. Hello? You are cured. Fair. <laughs> Going to bed now. Without rotting. Now let's go get the bow repaired. Fuck it, let's go get this one repaired too. Excuse me. I said let's go get the bow repair. Well, right, let's get this other one repaired too. Your presence honors my humble shopper, silly Melkor, although I need twice as much to feed my starving family. <laughs> what the fuck ever, dude. Hmm, I see. That's how you want to do the order of it? Whatever. We don't have to rush anywhere. Any news? What the Mage's Guild is saying about the witches isn't true. The old hags in the forest are mostly harmless. Fucking mages. Ruining everything. Rumors that someone has a clue to whereabouts are real shield. Supposedly the shield can make you invulnerable to fire and magic. The Quill Circus. I don't have anything to identify, do I? I do not. Alright. Well, it's Cracker Knuckles. Hunker. Right, right, my free training session that I got from them. Right. Right, I was like, wait, what? If you ain't got kids, it's game over. Yeah, I'm playing the, uh, I'm playing the Elder Scrolls Dynasty. <laughs> Just like the Septum family. Right. Fifty five percent will take me up to where the next rank can put me once I, you know, wait nearly a month. As that's how long it takes uh, between promotions. So the last time you've been promoted? Alright. What time of day is it? Cool. Wrong direction. <laughs> Also the wrong direction. Hello, hello, welcome in.
Still gonna keep that? Nah. Get it out of here. If it becomes relevant, then it becomes relevant. No, not my emergency gold fund. Ah. That's right, Rain. All right. What does the archaeologist mod do? So, the archaeologist mod adds the archaeologist guild as seen here, which my character is a part of. The objectives of the mod are to cr enable highly intelligent characters who don't use magic to still be a viable playstyle. Uh, focuses heavily on dungeon diving, you know, spelunking, crawling, with the tools to support uh, characters who do that. Uh, so language skill checks have been changed so that higher language skills give a much better pacification chance. Uh, language skills are easy to raise. This new guild allows training in all those language skills. Uh, it even provides hand-to-hand -hand training, which is otherwise missing in Classic. Uh, it provides locator devices uh, to enable enhanced location of quest targets and dungeons. Uh, an entire new fusillade array of quests uh, that were written by JH. The actual uh, mod itself is done by Hazelnut. Uh, teleport potion and a recipe for the teleport potion's been added to the game. Uh, when you join the Archaeologist Guild, you're given a mark of recall. Uh, it, uh, it used condition. Uh, the guild does repair that at a steep price. And uh, you're given a book, which uh, contains the benefits, what the ranks are, and where you'll find the archaeologist guilds located across the region. Uh, this mod very much fits in with this character. This Linguist 2.0. I'm, I've dusted off, uh, I'd say the most popular run that I've done of Daggerfall over all the years. All derp excessive, people have different priorities of life, right? Archaeologist mod was the one mod I knew I would uh, actually uh, install uh, to bring back the linguist playthrough, as the two just go hand in hand. Uh, the other modifications were put in because, well, I was there and I thought I'd see some other things, since I don't do mods. I'll be taking these back now. Let's put that, put that back on the hot bar, stuff that in the wagon. Okay. So locator devices uh, require you to have explored a certain amount of any given dungeon. Uh, higher rank members of the Archaeologist Guild get access to better locator devices. You get one for free when you join the guild. Uh, you get one for free for every Archaeologist Guild quest you do that involves a dungeon dive. And you can buy some at a, uh, at a significant price. Though that price lowers as you rank up, and you can also bring in a Holy Tome or a Dagger uh, to get a stiff reduction. I haven't uh, bothered buying any, because as it turns out, I've played so many hundreds of hours of Daggerfall without ever having a locator device that... <laughs> I have some concept of how to find the quest targets without having these. But you could say use them for non-archaeologist guild quests. Well, that's the story of those. And now we got our bows back. This person is foolishly walking outside still. Any news?
As for the other stuff, uh, we've seen it at work. A warning there when you try to rest, uh, that you are unwell with a disease or a poison. Uh, much like if you try to fast travel, and this is true in the base game, you try to fast travel and you're, like, there's a, a disease in you that hasn't, like, sprung out of you yet, hasn't finished incubating, the game warns you. In this particular case, uh, as that mod does warn about poisons, it's also helpful, you know. Like, it's time for me to go back to loitering. Well, what do you know? I was poisoned, but the poison hadn't triggered yet, because there was a small onset period. And so I loitered for three hours and my character died from the poison. That's great. We have transparent windows. This was a graphical sort of concession because I was curious to see how this would look. And it still fucks with my head. <laughs> You'll see people still active out there. You'll hear like various animals that are still out there. We got a rain sound effect because of that. If we actually had a halt in 14.4. I know, right? Like, what the fuck? It's supposed to be how this shit looks. We've got our hot bar that you see down there, hot key bar, that we can map things to, which shows item durability as well. It's uh, just, that's super comfy. I'd sit out here on this bench, but some enemies could spawn to attack me, and that's not okay. We've got our Roland SC-55 music. Miss Kingham. You can sleep in here. I was wondering. And by say I was wondering, I mean the idea just popped in my head. Good. Good. Who needs the fighter's guild? Just just sleep here with, with everyone. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty comfy. As for other things, uh, you may have noticed when I mouse over stuff, a tooltip appears. Uh, there's tooltips. I'm... Uh, uh, they're, they're okay. I don't... I don't feel strongly about them one way or the other. We've got temples being able to cure poison, though that's gonna be entirely irrelevant for this character. Uh, cause I decided to make them immune to poison. You know, po temples uh, just handle attribute damage and disease. But the very lore of this video game, and like some of the holidays it pops up, says that they should be handling poisons too. And the other thing is the training service overhaul, which changes how uh, training skills works. With uh, quality and training intensity and pricing, depending on the quality of the guild hall, uh, and how high they train up a skill, so forth. At any point in time, you can put exclamation mods in chat. It takes you to a little image file that you can look at and see the modification modifications that I have for the video game. As seen there. Alright. Back to archaeology. What you got? It's like everything we've seen before. means, uh, eh. skeletons in the closet again. Let's go find another, another sack of bones. <laughs> sure. Perinac Laboratory. Very close by. Give me a lot of time for this thing that's very close by. Wasn't even a need for me to set that recall anchor. I'll probably well. Let's let's take that back. There could very well have been a need for me to set that recall anchor. Let's not be hasty. 
All right. Got like a two by two here. Sorcerer. Let's mill around here. How you doing? Thought I'd give you a chance, you know, to consider not fighting me. Just to make sure that you weren't aggroing on the slaughter fish. Well, you had your chance. Or of a longsword. Spiffing. How about you? You want to say hi? You do want to say hi. Okay. Just thought I'd check to confirm. not going to pacify everything because not everything gets a pacification roll. Hi. I presume you're the sorcerer I pacified. I didn't buy any potions, huh? Still, I do have a potion of water breathing and water walking still. And that's good. Hi. Going to be friends? That doesn't look like friendship to me. Well, you're dead now, so... As you lay there in death... I can't cover her face. Think about the friendship we could have had. How it could have been yours, my friend. There's that double and triple strike of, uh, those roguish type enemies at work. Like, resist my spells, I'll show you. Hmm, leads into this module. I don't know if I'm done with that module yet. When I say I don't know if I'm done with that module, I mean I'm not done with that module yet. Let's boogie on back over. Zombie! Sorcerer! Mommy wrappings. I see. Another potion of free action, just in case I somehow do get paralyzed. Oh, you could have been one I had uh, pacified. But you also might not have spotted me. We could have been on the same team. I just want to make sure no one's behind me. Oh, well. Do I want to check under there? Eh. Anyway, yeah, that was a, a sorcerer I had pacified, because I actually ended up aggroing this sorcerer, who might also pacified by this betrayal of trust. And yes, that actually is how Daggerfall Unity works. We're on the same team. How could you? Nearby enemies you've also passed fighter like, fuck this person. It was a trap. Who knows what loot that sorcerer has. We never will. Flesh Golem. Ow. 
Atronach, I should say. Atronach, Golem, six and one half a dozen of the other. Okay, the secret door isn't in this portion. That's right, zombie. Hi. My character is immune to magic damage and immune to shock damage. And immune to fire damage. So unless they've got frost. Also immune to poison, yeah. So unless they got frost. Their magic spells ain't doing jack. Elven Flail, we'll pick that up. Want to head back here? Not yet. Hi. Yeah, just stand there. You're stun locked. How could you take action? <laughs> Be overwhelmed by my greatness. Genuflect before me. Despair. Go through that secret door in a hot minute. One mildly warmed minute. Toasty minute. No special types of arrows. Game keeps track of bow quality, not arrow quality. It's a transitive property. The bow quality to the arrow. It's a nice stack to find, two holy relics. At least it's back here. Alright. Secret door should lead me up to, like, a spiral staircase? Yeah. This can be a quest location, like, over here to my right. Hi. How you doing? So when I attack with this dwarven bow, it's... Dwarven bow. And we can just find arrows anywhere. You know, that works for me. There are video games that care about bow quality and arrow quality, just like how there's role-playing games that care about those both. Whatever, we ain't got time for that. I'm glad the overambition of Daggerfall doesn't go in that direction, too. Hello. Fuck, that actual zombie opened the door. Good news, though, they're not on the same team, and I'd rather shoot the zombie. So, zombie could two-shot me. If I'm at full health. It's not an exaggeration. Zombies deal a lot of damage. Deal up to 50 damage with an attack? And I do not have greater than 100 hit points. This may come as a surprise. I have 78. Okay. Cash of snooze here. Get our stamina back and allow those uh, skill checks to roll through. Okay, so that was there. I didn't see that. Didn't see my quest arc, which means I feel comfy now actually going into a different module. We'll save checking there for later.
two households, both alike in dignity, in fair graveyards where we lay our scene. <laughs> Star-cross lovers. carrying capacity, which uh, means I'm uh, gonna hop skip back over to the dungeon entrance here. He says, finding the dungeon entrance. Slap some things down in it. We'll get that identified at some point in my life. Probably. Should be a dead-end room. From with recoils. Nah, I guess that could lead to a different module, huh? Alright, well, we've got a lot of different directions I can go. That's always good. Let's go check this quest location up here. Of course it's a locked door behind a locked door. Well, for some money. Got a lot of loose threads here from the alternate pet, like there. Like there, basically. We'll see where the road takes us. See if I can find a sack laying on the ground. Hi! Did not mean to do that. I meant to just let go of the bow. Looks like that sorcerer doesn't want to be friends. Time out. Time out. I wouldn't be friends with me anyway. Known betrayer of friends, Grimoth. No sack of bones in here. There's a quest location down here. Nice fight sorcerer using etiquette skill. You're a battle mage. I'm gonna shoot you in one of them very exposed hips. <laughs> Not what I meant to grab. No sack in here. Well, hello, Flesh Atronach. We'll call him Teddy. Teddy's dead. I'm going to bed now. No secret door over there this time? No. All right, let's go check this door over here. Let's try that again. We're gonna check this door over here. Hello. Guess the sorcerer I pacified was right down there as I was firing my shots. Well, that's awkward. 
Alright. Pretty sure there's no other doors down here. Let me just nuzzle the wall to confirm. Yeah. Okay. Back to what I was thinking. It's uh, amazing I'm continuing to do these archaeologist guild quests, despite that so many of them are find item quests, not find monster that I enjoy so much. And it's probably because, should all else fail, I have a locator device I could just throw at the problem. <laughs> So I can go, ah, oh, yes. We'll go find the, the item laying on the ground now. This little teleporter section of this module. Possibly. That's not correct. fine with fighting Atronax. Those aren't undead, Daedra, uh, humanoids, or animals. They're Atronax. That door likes to auto-close. It's a way to fuck with you. That's what the ga this, this game does. Our sweet corpse pile. Hello. Listen, I hate the Mages Guild, you hate the Mages Guild. We can be friends. We don't have to fight. I promise. Not in Good work out of this bow in this dungeon. Oof, gonna have to get this repaired again. What's the archery up to these days? 65%. Well, <laughs> I think this will actually be the first skill I max. And since it's a minor skill, it shouldn't trigger, Oh, you're now a master of archery, and camp all my other skills to 95%. Not that I believe other skills of mine will be reaching 95% that aren't running and jumping and stealth. Pick their scales up for now. Elven boots. Those look so similar to chain that it's just easy to gloss right over that. All right. Slight armor upgrade. Footwear. And they're elven boots, so you know they're comfy. Miss a door up there? No, that was the, uh, that was the brick wall. Right? Right? Let me check that. Ah! With tilt head. Ah. I. Get out of my face. Least in my fucking time. Alright, anyway, I didn't go up that ramp. Slash stairway. Slash stairwell. Slash not a well. Slash quasi well. Takes us to a different module. This module. Just the upper portion of this. Okay. Okay, fine. As we rank up, our locator devices are going to be stronger, which means I get to, I have to explore less of dungeons before I can activate them. Looks just like a loot pile in there and not my target, but we'll pry the door open. Come here, crowbar. Not quite the Geb gun of Deus Ex, but it does all right. That is a dead end. That is not a dead end. I failed to spot that. The tooltip actually... Actually keyed me into that right there. All right. Good job, tooltip. Oh. 
Hold on. Hello! Oh. Much rather fight these enemies at range, because they can't do a double and triple strike with a, a bow and arrow, I mean. Nah, they, they don't have reasonable dungeons. Although, uh, last session, I did get sent to Privateer's Hold, the first dungeon of the game that only has the one quest location, so that worked out pretty well. I liked that. Big fan of going back to that dungeon. Frankly, every quest needs to send me there. Privateer's hold. Privateer's hold. We were actually in this module portion uh, last time, and an, an orc bamboozled me. I was I just closed out of my inventory, my character screen. Orc got a double strike off me and uh, killed me. Oh good, another corpse pile. Got an elevator shaft, too. It's just... Who keeps chucking the... They, they chuck the bodies here to feed the Adrena. Glad I could cycle weapons for one hit. Again, I can, like, I can just swap to hand to hand. I don't have to keep doing that. But I like using the ebony dagger for it. My hands don't deal that much damage. I gotta pry the door open somehow. Just need leverage. You just insert an ebony shard into the situation, you get leverage. Hi, gonna be friends? Ah. Had to make sure this uh, prospective friend detected me first. Wouldn't want to upset any other friends I've made in the dungeon. Another Daedra heart. All right, that's fine. We take those. Okay. <laughs> Just give it a little love tap. Hello. Definitely gonna have to get the uh, the bow repaired. All right, let's drop those. Be the instrument of my vengeance. Bad. We're friends. Yay, friendship. Uh-huh. I mean, yeah, this makes sense. Considering where I saw earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Since I'm here, let me go check a couple of things. This dungeon's enemies uh, fairly well, though. Nothing real uh, harrowing in here, except for the zombies. Uh, you can see the human enemies have a hard time with the zombies as well. You see, the ancient Dwimmer who once lived and ruled here uh, wanted uh, some vistas to 
enjoy their sparkling water with for something. <laughs> well, they went on about their lives. Again, that sorcerer just got the shit smacked down here. Let's drop that. Bit more. Uh, we can check out the Wraith Essence. And a little bit more. What else do I have? Steel boots, of course. We'll take the Essence back. We gotta snort that later. The hunt continues. Wanted to go into this room. Excuse you. Just kind of like clip through the vertice there. That's not okay. My gameplay immersion. How are you supposed to... How am I supposed to treat this as a respectable video game if you're doing that? How many times I've been missed? Well, that's unfortunate. But I guess I'm going down here now. I know, it's a beautiful view. A whole new world. We don't need that Gorgon snake. So the other thing I figure I'm gonna check before I activate my detector laser beam. Just go this way. Fuck that door. Is up here. You're not a friend. I don't speak Atronach. I don't speak Magi. Alright. You got the door. I'm carrying a keg. I can't help you. Thanks. Is it in here? It is not. Okay. Well. We'll leave a unicorn horn here. It seems fitting to leave the horn in here. <laughs> Give it a uh, Oh no! It right really was in there. Great. Delightful. We're going to be pulling a unicorn horn from uh, this very room. Not in this very dungeon, but in this very room later on in the game when we start doing the main quest. So it seems fitting. All sacked up. Huzzah. Save me a locator device. The Day of the Dead is one of the more peculiar holidays of Daggerfall. The superstitious say that the dead rise on this holiday to wreak vengeance of the living. It is a fact that King Lysandus' specter began its haunting on the Day of the Dead, three, Third Era 404. So Lysandus has been haunting his home for a year now. Here's your sack. Hooray! Vengeance! That's right. Vengeance.
What's that, honey? Vengeance. Good, good, good. <laughs> Never tiring holy water. Oh shit, that's uh Alright, alright, that's an item worth keeping around. Yeah, yeah, we'll never know when we'll need a pick me up. We just drink from my fucking chalice. How you doing in here, bud? I did buy some potions. I know, I just silent inventory. Let me check to see. So I got a water walking, a water breathing, and a resist poison, or whatever. I need... Uh, I could probably just do with a couple of healing potions and not heal true. Heal true is, uh... You gotta think about the price tag here, you know? I could use an emergency invisibility, though. We'll, we'll take them both. Don't need a stamina potions now, I guess. An emergency cure disease. And then uh, those potions of healing, and I would like those potions of levitate, please. Alright, I think it'll be good for now. Pick this one up. Well, okay. A few kilograms of potions. But might need those in a... in a pickle. A perilous situation. Alright. You know, if I want to read this book, I could just pull it out of the wagon. I might accidentally sell it, though, if it's in the wagon. <laughs> I take that back. I probably won't accidentally sell it. Emphatic nod. Etiquette, lockpicking, mercantile, stealth, running, archery, critical strike. We're almost level 7. Yes, I know it's still the Day of the Dead. It's about 21 hours of travel here. I'm gonna slather my body in money. Gonna get the coins, gonna get all the coins, oh yeah. Get coins. Just travel here, uh, cautiously. I think the pawn shop- no, the pawn shop closes at, uh, 2000. Yeah, we'll just travel here cautiously. And wait outside a few hours. I don't want to be on this side of town, though. Work with me here. Fine, I'll be on this side of town. Have it your way. And that's how it is. The rain's colliding with, uh... The foundation and framework of the house instead of the ground. Do books give skills in this game? No. You read them, and they have words in them, and you may find them interesting, those words. The vampires are not just mindless monsters. The clans beat in secret and plot to control all of mankind. Dun-dun-dun.
Bergama and archaeologist repairers are working together. Okay, I won't spread that around. Archaeologist trainers has a grudge against the royal guards. They're really going at it. It's war, then, with the archaeologists. The archaeologist summoners! Ally with good number more. Only the temples can summon Daedra safely. The priests can force them to reveal the secret location of powerful artifacts. Yes! That's what happens. That's exactly what happens. Good, we've got, uh... That's a more gold on the end. I should have queued up the repair of my boat. Oh, well. Let's go get that done. There's a, another step. In our etiquette. 44% now. We are one training session away from a level. Let's trade ourselves. It's gonna be pre-L7. Let's see, if I want to get up to rank 6, I'm gonna need 63 in Daedric. have a look at the book here. Take a look. Rank 6 does give item enchanting. Make my own magic items? I could make my own marker recall for cheaper than it would cost me to repair this damn marker recall. Now who needs to suffer danger? Don't worry about it. They do everything in the Archaeologist Guild. It really is the proper place for any dungeon delver. Why go hang out anywhere else? You can just hang out with them. The Enchanters and Urveus or Urveus hate each other. Yeah, that was, uh, that was, that was me speaking, Giant. Thank you for noticing. I've been working really hard at it. Representatives of the Empire are expected at Daggerfall soon. Hmm. I see. Most intriguing. The Dark Brotherhood is quite powerful in Daggerfall. This Assassin's Guild punishes outsiders that kill for money. Only we may kill for money. We've got the market cornered on, on slaying. For butchery for cash. That's right. Fucking people and their horses, man. Like, and everyone can afford a horse. Good day. How about you, town guard? Town watch. There we go. You. Repair this bow. Good. I shall return. Alright, the whole save, and I was gonna, like, pre-level 7, that's fine. 85 speed. We only got 6 hit points from that level, that was minimum hit point gain, minimum hit point gain, and a minimum attribute gain. Ugh. 
upsetting. So it goes. Again, I'll be winners. We get between 6 and 10 hit points every level. And we get between 4 and 6 characteristic points, attribute points, ability points. Per level. You don't own property. You're living on the property of your lord. And his fief. Of course, that is the Eurocentric feudal system. <laughs> what is property ownership? <laughs> we could go from a different angle. I think I'm gonna have to dawdle around here a couple hours. That's not what I want to do. What is a property? Yes, currency. Tell me more. <laughs> you think you have rights? That's adorable. You have the right to work my land, bitch. <laughs> Price scaling. Woof. <laughs> the training overhaul mod. I presume that just means the Archaeologist Guild is a fine, fine quality establishment. It's not like my, uh, my mercantile skill and my personality are terrible. I'll just keep going. There's some catharsis in that. I don't like playing video games where I have to take shit from characters who don't exist. Uh, unless I can give those people their comeuppance. Like, if I'm playing a video game and, like, say, some snotty children run up in my face and start sass-mouthing me and the developers of the game decided it wouldn't be okay for me to pummel those children into the dirt, then I got a problem with that video game. I'm not calling any game out specifically by name. I'm just saying there's some catharsis and taking an NPC who smack talks you and beating the hell out of them. Because <laughs> as part of my video game escapism, I don't have to take shit from you. Unless I get to have the privilege of punishing you for it. Like, okay. All right, you shoot me in the head right now, but one day, I'm gonna get you back. Since my mind is on this game, yes, that I am not going to mention by name or anything, at no point in my life did I ever want to fuck or make peace with the person who shot me in the head from the very beginning of the game and robbed me. <laughs> No, I'm pretty sure I'm going to kill you for shooting me in the fucking head. <laughs> and robbing me. Attempted murder and theft. And you left uh, the great cons to bury me. Which, I mean, I guess that's respectable. That's pretty decent of you in the grand scheme of things. <laughs> I digress. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> there is a good thrill in it, just to, like, see the reaction on his face, like, 
Oh, fuck. <laughs> and you fire a rocket launcher at him. Problem solved. And everyone else is like, understandably pissed, because you weren't supposed to be able to get that past the guard. I'm just thinking out loud here, though. Just uh, hypothetically speaking, of course. <laughs> That's right. What in the goddamn... That's something that shows itself in this game, though. Like, you'll have some 2D sprite tell you to go fuck yourself. That's why one of the mods I considered adding to our experience was, uh, unless they're, like, quest pivotal, or, you know, someone who's integral to the function of a guild, you could... you could just totally fucking kill the 2D sprites. You were allowed to interact with them, and I was like, man. The number of times some 2D sprite told me to piss off, and I was like, that's it. You're dying. But I'm working through some things, you know? <laughs> Again, of course, the game that I totally didn't name, that no one, like, under- uh, no, yeah, we're just all, like... Circumlocution is how we're conveying these thoughts. Yes. <laughs> I know, a cardboard cutout. Ah. Just walking down the street. Morrowind, of course, takes a different approach to this, where because uh, all the NPCs have voices, you can just be walking down the street and they'll tell you to go fuck yourself. I'm watching you, Outlander. <laughs> you don't belong here. One nice thing about Direfall is that these folks ain't voiced. So I can, in fact, go mind my own fucking business. I gotta go get a drink. I shall return. A beverage.
Yes, there is a multiplayer mod for Morrowind. There's some jank in it, of course, as you might imagine, but it, it does function. I think it's pretty neat. <laughs> I think I've had one person express multiplayer daggerfall functionality. I'm like, what the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> This video game's being held together by, like, shoestring and toffee. What reality do you exist in where you think that functionality could be added to? You want to talk about overambition. Okay. Why don't we do petty politics again? As well as the newer Guilty Lake Bay, the archaeologists must fight periodically to maintain our place in Daggerfall. On occasion, the powers that be require some verbal persuasion to allow us to continue here. A hundred ten days. Yes, before the guild suffers the effects of over of an overgrown tantrum, remember polite speech and patience. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we won't bother putting down a recall anchor. Last time we were in Charted, it was to deliver the Staff of Magnus to someone, I believe. Time of day, Palace ain't open yet. Oh. You can tell. We, we crossed a... We crossed a great point threshold with that speed increase. Woof! As I noted last stream, you know, there's things that when you... Many things that the more you have of it, the less point each matters. You know. But with speed! No, 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 no. The more you have of it, the more each point matters. Let me warm up my silver tongue. to get Betany, those archaeologist mixers, sure, whatever. The fighter equippers have allied with someone, yeah, why not? One of the mod mods that I saw on uh, Nexus Mods uh, was themed around the idea of, like, you hear talk about all these factions, and a skeletal framework does exist in the video game, but now, what if, like, you showed up at a fucking region, and shit was going down? There's a fucking plague happening. People are out here burning witches. One faction's attacking a different faction. You're like, oh, fuck. Here I am. People are hunting this member. Like, these members of a faction. And you're like, shit, that's me. I'm a member of that faction. Hello. Good day, your name and purpose. Ah, yes, we have a bit of a disagreement to discuss. You take a look at this sheet, your so-called guild has outlasted its lease for over ten months! <laughs> Demand that the consequences be paid for this flaunting of a legitimate contract. Well, we're more clever than he is. There's some minor inconsistencies. And so we must go to Chester Wark. Go to the servant there. This noble has been now been bested in debate. One of the reasons why I'm curious to, like, do these things I have did once uh, in the last stream, see whether there's any differences that pop up. You know, I haven't done any of these quests before, because they're all made for this mod. Chester Walk. It's right on over there. Yeah. Open up. You know, you just show up and the constant struggle and strife that's, you know, described in the Iliac Bay at this time. Just, you just walk in the middle of it like, oh, fuck me, dude. <laughs> I'm just here trying to turn in a quest. Why do I have to deal with all this shit? No. <laughs> fuck. 
Fuck. Ow. Pulling all these dialogue windows up just to train my etiquette. That is uh, a skill that influences my leveling up. And it's pretty simple for me to put in the inputs. So why not, as we just travel along. We uh, get some interesting tidbits, too, while we're at it. Tell me about the Fighter's Guild. Tell me about the Fighters Guild. You're new to <laughs> Yes. Of course, you're new to Chester work. Tell me about the Fighters Guild. Tell me about the Fighters Guild. The Fighters Guild is a sophisticated mercenary service. They often hire adventurers as guards, escorts, and occasionally on more covert missions. I was curious whether the mod had uh, stuck in the archaeologists so we could ask about them on this grid. Tell me about the Mages Guild. You gotta be somewhere around here. Tell me about the Mages Guild. It's a good story it is, it's just what you think it is. A school and a club for mages who are already pretty good to make them even better. It's been around for, oh, at least a thousand years also since I'm thinking about it. Do they ask about where this person is? Thank you. Ah, it's right there. How about that? Tell me about the Order of the Lamp. They defend the Mages Guild. They defend the Mages Guild, but I need someone to tell me. Fine. Maybe I don't need someone to tell me. But I know it in my heart. I ain't gonna talk about the Order of the Lamp to nobody! I got you. Nine o'clock? All right. It's an hour and a half from now. Tell me about the Under King. I'm sorry, but I don't know, and I have to go. Hello. Quite a surprise. Process the Forbearance Order. The day has been saved. Goodbye. Etiquette jumping and running has gone up. What's the etiquette up to? 47% in climbing. We're over halfway to level 8 now. Delightful. Got a little bit of gold on hand. I was thinking about whether I wanted to join a temple order this run. When I answered the biography questions, I think I chose School of Juliana's. They're adversarial with the Mages Guild anyway, but... Like... The Archaeologist Guild's got what I need. And they're more than just friends. I'm actually fucking the entire guild right now. <laughs> the whole building and everything. Sixty-three percent was where I needed that at, and I do have, uh, yeah, a couple of others high enough, so that's good. It's good. It's good. What you got for us? You do petty politics again, again. More skeletons in the closet. Find the lost. Oh yeah, extra rep with you. Woo. Oh, was permission to speak? All right, we gotta go to someone to then go to the field agent. Evans lost his us hunting someone. Let's hunt someone. A cloth amulet. Let's go do some leg work, Jetru. Even though I knew someone, I wouldn't be telling a Breton, you do realize where the fuck we are, right? <laughs> and you do realize who you strongly appear to be, right? He's like, appearances can be deceptive, asshole. Are you judging me based on how I look? Yes.
The Gearhouse Hall. Run for the archaeologist. Gearhouse Hall, you say? It's okay, we can hurt these people who are outside. They're three-dimensional. Pressing the wrong button. I am speaking to these people in the polite voice, and they care more about the blunt tone through Streetwise, but... Fuck it. We gotta train up at... We gotta train this up. That person just didn't know the answer. Maybe, maybe you would look two-dimensional if we got in your face. How about that? Think about that? This place is also small enough that I could just eyeball the locations. Alright, fine. Hi there! That's not very nice. You and your double and triple swing. You don't want to get into an archery contest? You strike down the thief now to recover the cloth amulet. Didn't want to get into an archery contest, yeah, Rube. Distressing. Alright, there's a cloth amulet. Sixty six percent of the way to level eight. Well, I don't speak cat. <laughs> yeah. Put your cat up next to your microphone. <laughs> That's right, next to my microphone, not next to yours. Okay. Play the field, and keep it real. We'll go find a book for you. But not worth 581 gold. You gotta pay me more than that. I'm damn right, thanks for nothing. Tattered Courier doesn't pay much. Busy work is, uh... Yeah. Well, I guess it wasn't a statue that time. Hey, sure, we can do some busy work. Common symbol. Sure, although that doesn't tell me what the payment is, so, you know, that's kind of sketch. I'm sure it's just going to be you handing me money, but... It's kind of sketchy. Sure. Stronghold of Greenhouse. An icon. The stronghold, the stronghold of Greenhouse. Not to be confused with any other. Uh-oh. We got siege equipment just right outside here. One hell of a dungeon. All right. A little bit of a dungeon size to it as well. We hear some purring off in the distance. It's the sound of a giant scorpion purring, not a spider purring. We also hear a harpy off in the distance. Okay. 
it's this module just with things arrayed a little bit different. Let's check up here first and foremost for our target. As uh, quest locations can be up here. Hello, Harpy. Get out of my face, Harpy. Potion of Cure Disease? That's neat. I'm looking for an icon just laying on the fucking ground. Well, it's gonna be annoying. We'll see what we can do. I can't wait to there. Excuse me. How the hell did you miss me with all those? You burglar. Icon laying on the ground. <whistles> Yoo hoo. The icon sting. Scorpion out. As soon as I open that door, the scorpion's gonna attack me. See? Ungrateful swine. Maybe the scorpion didn't want to go walk out of there. Like, no, this is my safety room. You break in, intruder! enough out of you. Alright, let's keep it moving. We didn't check the other side yet. Let's go do that now. I see. Well then. <laughs> Fine. Which way do I want to go from here? This is a dead end room, yes? Yes. Sweep through here then to map that out. Keep it moving. Entrance is over there, so let's come this way and through this door. There's a lycanthropes in this dungeon. I'm level seven, yeah? Yeah, I'm level seven. I don't hate this enemy composition. They're certainly far worse for this character. Ah. Hello. Is this the sorcerer convention? This appears to be the sorcerer convention. Are we friends? Eh? We're not friends. <laughs> I was wondering why that sorcerer wasn't fighting me. Whatever. Sure, just keep standing there, staring at me dumbly. Why not? They throw mace? That's pretty nice. I was thinking about picking up the dragon scales, but... Eh. We might find our target quick. Nice chunk of gold. Alright. 
All right, Scorpion. There, I released you. You're welcome. You can do it, little buddy. Nope, okay. Could not figure out how to get to me. And they say this AI is advanced. <laughs> I saved you from that scorpion and this is the thanks I get. Unbe fucking leaveable. The disrespect. Would not mind replacing some of the steel armor I have on. Due to how heavy steel is. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. Hello. So you were the victor down here. Between the Knights and Mages faction and the Rogues faction. Alright. I'm gonna keep my... I gotta keep my peepers open for... This shitty thing that's gonna be laying on the ground that'll be easy for me to overlook if I have not already done so. Oh, a bat. I release you from your cage. Go, be free. Um, we're, we're using them. We are conversing in the language. The languages of others. Slaying all we go with power word kill. <laughs> that's how that works, right? I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Whoop. Do I want to take that elevator? No. Release the harpy. Wraith Essence will take. Sure, I'll pick up another dragon scale. Did you know that Nolfaga was supposed to have, like, a... Pet dragon familiar is how I'll articulate that. Uh, laying next to her in your dungeon. Supposed to actually see a fucking dragon in this video game. You know, one of the 1700 things we don't see in Daggerfall. That were intended. Also, our quest location here is empty. What do you mean I can't carry anymore? It's the dragon scales. Then again, the elven mace isn't exactly light either. I'm actually just gonna keep it carrying those. <laughs> well, that's the thing, right? Things that were supposed to be dead or imprisoned are never truly dead and sealed and, and lost to time, are they? It never works like that, does it? Another quest location. Not full of giants. Wanna be friends? I'm gonna take that as a respectful decline. I mean, dragons are in Skyrim and the fourth era, no less. Spoilers, I guess. <laughs> Door here? No. No door. No over down here this time. That's fine. That's right, Piggy. That's above me. Oh, 
Oh, yes, of course. Reasons. It's a pile of money just laying there. How could I not pick it up? It's kind of getting like a wolf and man beat there. <laughs> Inventory is nearly full. That's right, gold. I didn't map that door up there because... Just didn't get to it. All right. Because I turned into that section because I realized where I was. Okay. Hello. Yeah, so you stay over there and I'll stay over here and we'll shoot arrows at each other and you won't approach me with your blade to double strike and triple strike me. This seems very reasonable. I accept your terms. Ah yes, the branch of truth, justice, and the American dream. Hello. Hey, I think I know where we are. Get a load of this shit. That's where we are. All right. You having fun? I guess I'll contribute. Uh, you started it with me. Dwarven Broadsword? Alright. I'll help. Fuck that scorpion. Just think of me as your sorcerer buddy up here that I totally didn't gun down. Oh, I see. Truce is over. Have it your way. Yes, the sorcerer in the in the biblical sense. <laughs> I couldn't even keep a straight face with that. Let's go check out uh, this location down here. It's gonna be a sewer today. Oh, hi. Well, that's awkward. Guess you were down here. Like, yeah, on the other side of the stairs. It makes sense. I don't like it, but it makes sense. Jumping, lockpicking, stealth, dodging, running, archery, critical strike. Alright. We're gonna check underwater. With zombies down there. Whoop. Hello? I do not want to fight a zombie down here. Do not want to fight zombie down here. Whoop. You fool! You missed me somehow multiple times and then followed me up here. All a part of my cunning ploy. To try and hit you while you're strafing. Leading my target? Damn, I'm good. Uh, hmm. But it's made out of magic.
Could be anything. The fucking droop that was down here. Okay. Fun time's over. I was thinking imp, but no, it makes sense that's a droog. I'm not seeing the symbol, Bob. of what else I might want to drop. Potion of Resist Fire. We're gonna need that anyway in order to get back, so might as well use that now. Yes, the difference is damage it deals. They're both long swords. 5 to 14 versus 3 to 14. The damage numbers do change depending on the weapon material. Uh, just to give you a sense. Long blades are the best weapon type in this video game. Uh, they have the most uh, variance, and uh, the, the Dai Katana deals the best damage. And uh, is also fairly light to boot. Axes only have two choices. Uh, blood weapons have a few. Uh, bows have two options, but, you know, they have ranged a part of them. And sure blades have uh, some variations. You know, just very a uh, blade centric game. This dagger full. Hello, slaughterfish. How you doing down there? All right, bat. I, you know, I thought we were gonna have some fun together, but I guess I'll come in here to have fun with you. Uh, oh well, a uh, Daedric Daikatana is two-handed. Well, a Daikatana is two-handed. Now. The normal Katana is one-handed. Damn, missed my jump. All right, Harpy. So yeah, two axe options, one handed and two handed. Two bow options, they're both two handed, as you may imagine. A few blunt web options. You have your mace, you have your flail, you have your war hammer, you have your staff. Number of blades. Short blades, but, uh, long blades. You know, the, the most, the mostest. Hmm. My voice activation is picking up my air conditioner more today than I anticipated. Eat it, slaughterfish. And then it died. The end. Okay. Well, I haven't seen our symbol on the ground here, so we're gonna check up... up above. Let us depart from this area. It is a silly place. Which of the weapon flavors would you assign to Halberd? If your categories are the same as they are in this video game. Long blade, short blade, axe, blunt weapon, hand-to-hand -hand archery. Would you call it an axe? Would you rename axe to polearm? What you think of here? You just add polearms? The seventh weapon category.
Now I can have glaives, Grimoth. Everyone knows you gotta have a good glaive. room full of vermin. It sounds like it's full of vermin. The oh, fuck? Sh shot you four times and you're still flying. <laughs> Damn, okay. Fucking try hard. Excuse me? Hello, gargoyle. <laughs> Well, that's awkward. <laughs> okay. Don't know who said you could fucking spawn. We're fine. Do melee weapons have range or all the same range? The silence here is because I am attempting to conceive... I am considering whether there is any weapon I would consider to have... ...range, as you are suggesting it, beyond a ranged weapon. Is there a mechanical difference in combat between a Wakazashi and a Claymore? As far as reach is concerned. In my experience, we're gonna say, I, I, I know, like, I understand the question that was being asked. <laughs> I know what you meant. I got it. <laughs> I needed to fill the time so that I could, <laughs> I could access my entire data bank <laughs> in my head. And my answer is, not in my experience. Uh, they have different weapon animations, uh, which can determine, like, you know, like, when exactly a weapon will hit and what might be better for you to use in a combat situation. No, I can't give you the breakdown of that. I wasn't being facetious either, Old Phoenix. I don't need you to misrepresent me on that front. I'm trying to think of the fucking correct answer to the question. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't provide misinformation. Okay. We'll leave that dwarven saber behind. No, it's- I have a lot of fucking knowledge in my head about Daggerfall. And I am attempting to assess through all of that to see whether, at some point in my life, melee weapon range has mattered. So that, you know, the reach of my- my two-handed weapon compared to my one-handed weapon. I, uh, I have threatening reach, so if you try to step away from me without uh, shifting uh, from two squares, I uh, I get a free opportunity action, which I'll use to make an attack of opportunity against you. Different arrow types do not exist in this video game. I hope that answers your question. <laughs>
Yeah, what's your CMD, bud? I'm gonna need to know your CMD. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Ah, yeah. All right. We had fun in our not privateers hold module. Let's uh actually leave and you know go somewhere the fuck else. secret door there? No, that's fine. As a reminder, these locator devices are provided by the Archaeologist Guild and can be used once you've explored a certain amount of a dungeon. Uh, higher rank members get stronger devices, so uh, as you level up, uh, you'll get better devices. So you will have to explore less of the dungeon to accomplish your goal, and I'll be damned. It, it, I could have ridden that elevator to get to it. It's in that location. Okay. Maybe it's not. Hmm. Alright, the elevator to an elevator. Which leads us to... We've had quest locations pop out from this room before, like a lich. In times past. Excuse me? I see. Well, this intersection sucks. Yes, the bat. Guarding the sacred icon. This must be the icon you were sent to find. This is neat, by the way. I I thought the locator device would be like more obscuring or just point in direction and not leave a visible sphere that would float like on like in your view. And I really like how this is uh, like how this is coded and designed for the game. This is a pretty good feature. Pretty good. It's really the highest compliment you can give something. It's pretty good. It's a really shitty fee, but we did it. Okay. Let's go get the bow repaired. Again. <laughs> Try horse. Weapon repair. You could certainly use a better bow and have to... If I wanted to buy one from stores, I'd probably have to save outside one and cycle in and out a bunch. To make one vomit into the ether. As was as was noted there, gargoyles uh, are an enemy type that uh, that does require mithril or better. Jumping, stealth, climbing, dodging, running, destruction, archery, critical strike. Archery is up to seventy percent. Zah, it is my highest skill. <laughs> the next highest is jumping at sixty-two percent.
Yes, mithril is the highest of material requirement. You have at least a mithril weapon, you can hit anything in the game. Potentially. You won't be told that your weapon material is ineffective. But it wasn't raining outside. Whatever. The hell do I know? So I want to rank up to rank 7. That would take, that would require 71. Um, I just got unlocked Daedra Summoning and I don't think... Care? I also don't know how I feel about that being in the guild. We already do potion crafting, potion selling, identifying items, making magic items, like giving me a marker recall that I have to pay exorbitantly to repair, these locator devices I can pay for more. Then you want to throw Daedra Summoning on top of it too? Uh, who the fuck needs any other guild in this video game or Witch Coven, right? <laughs> Your one-stop shop! Anything you want to do in this video game involving a dungeon or not even a dungeon, you can do it right here, boss. Spellcrafting? Well, you don't need that. Fuck you. This guild is not for spells. It's no wonder that, uh, this guild is so unpopular and <laughs> keeps trying to muscle in everyone's fucking territory. But I suppose it makes sense. I mean, if we're gonna be all scholarly and train in Daedric, why not have Daedra summoning, too? Does it Daggerfall have an enemy like Umbra and Morrowind and Skyrim, a super high level NPC that wants you to kill him? No. The enemies you fight in this game don't do not do conversations with you and, and beg for you to kill them. Considering saving my money to enchant a magic item or three. Weight allowance seems pretty nice to me. Just so I can hoard more. You know, I actually haven't used, you know, the, what this Lord's Mail has to offer here. I've just been wearing it. I've, I've, I've seen other pieces of Steel Queries, and that's what I was wearing from the start. Well, not from the start, but that's what I was wearing that I replaced this with. It's just... Eh. I'd do a whole lot for this character, and you know, I would like a better piece of armor. But you know, it still does have that same weight. That's really fucking heavy. Congratulations, Mr. Lee, because of your outstanding work for the guild, we have promoted you to the rank of Journeyman. Keep the good work and continue to study hard. We get free identifications the Blazing Amulet of Fireballs. I mean, sure. Yeah. Fireballs. Magic item, magic item, magic item. Good, 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 good. It's important to keep our options open. I think the next skill I want to work on is... Uh, one of the skills that helps me uh, successfully complete the other questing we haven't seen for the Archaeologist Guild, which involves Nymph... Giantish and I believe orcish. Yeah, nymph, a like giantish nymph orcish. We tried the giantish one uh, last time, and my giantish was not high enough. I don't know what the requirement is. I, I don't need to be told. We'll figure it out as we go. Let's do one training session. 
Grab some giant fish. 954 gold? Sure. Let's go to bed. This will be pre-level 8. This time... We may very well invoke the, the save load powers. Six hit points and five stat points? Get out of here. Eight hit points but six stat points? Sure, we'll work with that. 91 speed. Woo! Unless I roll consecutive fours, uh, we will be capped out on speed by level 10. Delightful. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's. Oh, you can tell. That's good stuff. Giantish, please. Oh, hell, it keeps me standing here. It doesn't reset me to a room with the beds. Oh, this guild kicks too much ass. <laughs> it's too good. That's right, Storming. That's right. Now I will truly be able to understand the primitive drawings, I hope. I think that'll be my last training session. Let's go grab the bow. That'll put giant ship at 38%. I think with this now, we'll, uh... We'll try the giantish quest again. Oh, not you. Sorry. We're at 14 rep with them now? Yeah, slight the kick. Good. They're what my money I was going to use to buy a better bow. No. thought that said 10 arrows, and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Where'd my arrows go? The Order of the Lily and Agents of the Underking. The old hags in the forest are mostly harmless, indeed, they are. Can't blame them for everything. They're just misunderstood, man. Like the archaeologists. How you doing, shopkeep? This is a low quality store. The lowest of qualities. I thought I'd check to see what's on shelves while I'm in here. I don't think I'm really hurting for arrows, but there could be something else that pops up in the general store shelves. I'm like, oh boy, we want that. I am level eight now. Besides, we get to look through the transparent windows again. See that villager walking around out there? Yeah. We're not supposed to. <laughs> these are these are scary times. Elvin Shortbow. I'm not gonna bother checking the shelf upstairs. Hmm. 
You build enough houses, you'll fill the pond up, so that way the house won't sink. That's how that works, right? I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Bunch of arrows, but they're the expensive store. You. Dwarven. Mithril Saber. Sabre. I would certainly uh, have body Mithril Bow. Never one appeared. Right, imagine them. It works. They're interchangeable. How many flavors of Eodoric would I like to look at? I like the one that shows my boobs, but I like the one that doesn't show my boobs. Would I like the small one, would I like the big one? <laughs> I don't know. Let me think about that. Said I was gonna try this whole giantish thing again. Let's do just that. After a snooze. Medicate, etic, medical etiquette, medicate, <laughs> jumping, giantish mercantile. Yay, what's the mercantile up to these days? You know, 57. Hello? On the shoulders of giants. We need someone who knows more than the basic greeting grunts of giantish. There's a document waiting in another city that has lacked translation for far too long. If you can do it, we could pay you some gold. What do you say? One of our agents found the originals, which are being held in storage, and made a copy now, waiting in the, the Master Wing residence of the Dancing Gnome Lodge. It means a series of drawings around Daggerfall, which we hope will lead to something of interest. You not mention the giants have a long history in the Atlantic base, so their input is of great worth. Return here in 42 days with your explanation. The celebration of second planting is in full glory this day. The free clinics! Woo! Except for battle injuries. They're healed only at full price. Want me to look for a residence? We can do that. Excuse you, lighting. Wrong thing. Why don't we just kiss off? By the mist, as if I know. Okay. Fucking useful as always, everyone. Fine, I'll just go look at the fucking building behind me. You assholes. This must be the copy left for you. Thankfully, the characters here are legible. A few small insertions drawn near various landmarks show a pattern of migration away from Rip Market. Not that I think I'm going to Rip Market. I think we're done with this quest. Let's go see whether I am, in fact, done with this quest. I see, so their move was leading away from Rip Market? Interesting. Well, your skill certainly speaks for itself. I'm happy to have enlisted your aid in this matter. Thank you for your time, Journeyman. Okay. Heat Seeker? Oh, boy. That's something different. Let's have a look at that. 
See, by doing things, we're, we're unlocking avenues to other things. That's interesting. An object was recently brought in with a nasty curse of sorts. Left alone, the amulet is harmless, but once it touches warm flesh of any kind, its previous master will perceive its location and slay over possesses it. The fact that this master is a Daedra should give you pause, Journeyman. I don't have a mithril bow. Uh, magic? It requires someone to hold this object, defeat the foe, so we can get it recorded and evaluated. You'd be the one to do it. Yeah, you got it. Here it is. We cannot possibly tell you how long it will take to find you. Who knows in what region the creature makes it home. All we know is that however long it takes, it comes to kill. Be prepared for battle. Return to me when the task is finished. Farewell and let whatever god you worship be with you. <laughs> okay. Well... Um, I'll look forward to that, I guess. Whenever that is. So, those numbers around your character are armor value. Uh, in the case of Arena, I believe uh, armor class goes down, like it advanced Dungeons & Dragons 2nd Edition. So, the lower the number, the better. Uh, you can, like, tell that if you start putting on higher quality armor, Pay attention to how the numbers change. Chain, leather, plate, uh, the various items you have, like an ebony thing, an adamantium thing, a mithril thing, a dwarven thing, an elven thing, so on and so forth. Uh, that's what those numbers uh, floating around your character being. Armor. They're present here in the Elder Scrolls 2 Daggerfall as well, but they do go up instead of going down. For better. Yeah, in AD&D &D 2nd Edition, uh, armor class range from 10, the best, uh, the worst, rather, to negative 10, the best. And you would want that value to go down. What would I rate Arena as for RPG? I don't have a particular rating for it. It's been a few decades since I last played the game. I didn't start playing it until after I played Daggerfall, so I came into the game thinking it was going to be more like Daggerfall. And uh, Arena leans... Uh, it really is more... Uh, how do I articulate this? It's got more puzzles and riddles and stuff in the game. It harkens back more to an older, like, dungeon-crawling game and that aspect. And sort of, like, switches and puzzles. Daggerfall has some of that. So... Uh, if you like those types of things in your dungeons, and like an overarching uh, high fantasy quest line, then uh, that's what you go to Arena for. That's how I rate that. Yeah, been a couple of decades since I played Arena. I think I'm gonna load to reset this shop's inventory. Sure! I mean, hell, both uh, Arena and Daggerfall are freeware and have been since 2009. I, I get you. Go to spin. Um, I can provide some direction uh, if you are looking for information. The unofficial Elder Scrolls pages uh, will have a section for you uh, on the Elder Scrolls uh, arena. So if you'd like information for various things and want to look up stuff without, say, asking an internet chat room, and maybe they'll have the answer for you, uh, check there. There's a Mithril Daikatana. There's our Mithril Longbow. Good. I am almost certainly picking that up. Yeah. The reason why I checked the shelves there is because I didn't want to buy that next to see. Oh, better bow.
This is from the pricey incense and soft music shop, but we'll get over it. Uh, there's certainly plenty of that. Uh, combat and arena can be a bit vicious due to how the sound fonts work. So enemies can creep up behind you uh, more easily without you noticing. And the respawn rates on those monsters. Uh, whew. They'll even come up. You're like you're like in town at night, just trying to like wander around, find a place to sleep, and suddenly, where the hell did you come from? <laughs> For a magic casting character, um, creating a shield type of spell, like a buffer spell, uh, works pretty well. Uh, buffer, uh, the sort of like shielding effect will last between like various rests, so you can cast it, you can try to go to sleep, and if you press like the, the information thing that pops up like the date and your current health, it should still say you are shielded. And that can help sort of like fortify your hit points. For a warrior type character, uh, that's less of an option, but uh, the squishier ones can work pretty well. I'm 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 not the person to ask about arena stuff, Ultima Phoenix, but I do know and remember some things. All right, Mary did my shopping in there. Let's put this bow away. Log says, Okay, uh, eventually a murderer's daedra will come to get me. So, I'll keep my eyes peeled, I guess. Don't know how long that'll take. Mm -hmm. One day, a uh, murderer's daedra will devour me. I just wonder how long that'll take. Should I go do something else? Let's uh, consult the Book of Archaeology here. What are the guild locations do we have? Ah, Chester Work. There's one in Chester Work? Okay, let's take a look. Absolutely. Enjoy the game how you see fit. Archaeologist Guild here. Okay, it's gonna be that group of two buildings down there. Well, the time of day doesn't matter because uh, they're open 24-7 for me. So let's uh, go do a quest for a different Archaeologist Guild while we wait for this Daedra to come try to murder me. The various shopkeeps, the blacksmiths and so on, uh, do vary in shop quality. Not that I can, like... So you'll find, like, different items to purchase or sell in, like, varying mages' guilds in various shops and towns. Why am I here? It's because I got distracted. Let's actually go to the archaeologist guild and take up a quest from them. Well, we wait for this Daedra to come kill me, eventually. I don't recall whether shop scale with level and arena. Oh. That makes sense that things would be decorated a bit different. Are you still the quest giver? You are. You're still a repair recall mark person. You're still a stranger. You still handle Daedra summoning, and you're still chilling over there in the corner. Just right. sleeping here, the Daedra spawns. Okay. Waiting for the Daedra. Why don't we pick something that doesn't involve me going into a dungeon while I wait for the Daedra?
Yes, a bank across from a bank. Seen that before plenty of times. Hello! Oh. Well, yes, that is true. That's me. But I meant to ask you about this person. We only get to ask about the news one time with a person, unless you're talking to, like, a spy master who never runs out of news. Alright, let's switch over to Streetwise. Hun moth, you say? It's not far. Filthy mortal! Why must you desecrate with your puny hands the vengeance of oblivion be upon you? There's the daedra. Oh shit, it's a frost daedra too? So, as a quirk of design, in regards to, like, damage values, Frost Daedra, kick ass with their attacks. They deal a lot of damage. We want nothing to do with that. Thanks. A Frosty Sorcerer, you know? Now that you mention it, you stand triumphant over the Daedra's corpse, it's time to return and deliver the amulet. Frost Daedra was no match for us. Sure can. Using a ranged combat, but uh, I could also fight a uh, melee from the mount too. That's not something that's uh, inherent to Daggerfall unit, that's a part of classic Daggerfall. This building? No. Listen, I play Mountain Blade. I know how that works. Here we go. I'll just save our this. Hello? Not up here. Oh, hi! We're not at a sufficient enough range that our foe is gonna want to gauge an archery. So we'll uh, we'll go lean into magic a little bit there to take care of the work. Okay. Took some hits, but we survived. Back to Chester work. To turn in this quest, and then we'll head back to the Archaeologist Guild in Gothway Garden. I think Banner Lord's getting its 1.0 release uh, next month. I've kept an eye on uh, how that game has come along and development. Looks pretty compelling. I imagine I'll play that at some point in my life. Yeah, when the item uh, is, like, enshrouded, surrounded by green, it's a quest item. The notes, for example. That's uh, to key you in, that's part of a quest. 
Well, you never know when you'll need squirrels. Listen, I played that, uh, that Toho Gensokyo game for a while. Uh, there were squirrels there, and they were dangerous. Or whatever the fuck they were actually named in that game, but they were squirrels. My fears of assuage. No one here doubts your ability, but anytime we combine the words Task and Daedra, we discard all guarantees concerning the future. Certainly believe you have earned this money. Indeed, I have. Or frosty torque of ice storms on. I haven't sipped from my chalice of never tiring holy water yet. Indeed. I think. You're like you're screaming at your pawns. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> How are you dying? What's wrong with you? You're like, I don't know. Things are happening. Try Lost Language next, or... No. It's of works and men that I want to try next. At 36%, that might be good enough. Especially if I do a training session of it. Sleep for nine hours. How's Linguish 2.0? Uh, we're doing all right. How we're leveling is through raising our language skills. Like etiquette at 50%. And also through archery at 71%. We're making money and we're putting it into our language skills. That's how we're this level. We need to be level 10, of course, to unlock all the main quests. Not that I started doing any of that. I've just been doing archaeologist guild stuff. Train up giant ish, one more step. And now I will uh, sign up for attempting to do this thing of orcs and men. There's particularly particular interest in the orcish language of late, and good sums of money are waiting for those considered experts in it. Would you include yourself in that definition and be willing to show it under mild levels of danger? Sure, we'll try. Stellar, take with you these two who have paid good money to watch orcish dialogue in action. You two, stay close to Ursilia Melkor and keep out of danger. You are to travel to the Hold of Hawkcroft, a known habitat for the savages. Please avoid any bloodshed as far as it is possible. The tribe living there has an understanding that the archaeologists are friendly, and we put great trust in you to maintain that reputation. Your patrons have committed to paying you a bunch of money when they are satisfied. <laughs> okay. Oh no. It's my face! <laughs> hmm. 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 All right. Well, I have been hired to lead two spectators to watch my skills of the orcish language. I need to remain with it until they are satisfied. Well... Let's go. I guess. I don't know whether I'm that much of an expert. Might be having to pass more than a skill check request. Uh, let's let's see. I, that beats me. Have a snooze. Go inside. Okay, I am going to shoot the bats though. Bats are not orcs. <laughs> I hope we understand each other. The, 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 the two I'm escorting look aghast at me, and I'm like, ugh. You notice in the shadows a passive orc and strike up a cautious conversation. It speaks to you in return, familiar with the archaeologist's routine. The two of you commit to maintaining peace insofar as you are not attacked. Hey, bud. I'm part of the tour. I'm here for the tour. I don't know if I need to wander further in the dungeon or just spend time in the dungeon. Hmm. I have answers to none of these questions. 
Let's go find some answers. Okay, very good. It's a mummy. A mummy part of the tour? The rata part of the tour? Skeleton warrior part of the tour? <laughs> Ghost? Orcish ghost? How many arrows does it take to get to the center of this ghost? Let's find out. The Chewy Caramel Center. Again, yeah, on the one hand it said, don't attack, on the other hand, like, there's no one around to practice my language skills with, so... I could run around haphazardly, I guess. We could do that. Excuse me. Excuse me. Or whether it would take a certain amount of time for them to be satisfied, or, or what? I don't know. I didn't say, like, they're supposed to pay me when they're satisfied, Pan. I could go hang out uh, with that orc who spawned and click on the orc somewhere, though, I guess. Excuse me. Um, yes, that would be really dumb. Because orcs are low-level enemies, so yes, yes, that that line of thinking would 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 not be followable. Hey, bud. Pretty fun in here thus far. I'm gonna go sleep next to you now. Can't say strange, don't know, because, you know, I haven't done this quest before ever in my entire life because it doesn't exist in the video game. So I've just followed along. I did commit some violence, but it was against non-orcs. Part of me playing this is the, the joy of exploration and discovery was something I've not done before. Yes, this would be content that's a part of the Archaeologist mod. <laughs> there are certainly no quest triggers that act like this in the Elder Scrolls II Daggerfall. Oh, you can go down those fast enough to take damage. Don't worry about it, though. <laughs> There's a lot of alert enemies right now. It makes sense. Hey! 
How you doing? So I think I'm gonna have to, like, wait until more orcs spawn near me. Coming suit, you know, our quest target enemy friends. You know, words. Guess that's a tool tip, Pan. Because it's a modification I have on the video game. So there's tool tips. If you think that's also part of the quest, that would certainly be something. <laughs> The tooltips I'm kind of have, though. They're all right. I don't think they're they're game changers or deal breakers, though. Your spectators have decided they've seen enough. If they decide to head back to Gothway Garden, they're not before giving you the money. <laughs> Fucking rich people, am I right? <laughs> Well, that was the easiest dungeon dive ever. <laughs> oh, I quite enjoyed roughing it out here with you. Yes, I say the archaeologist guild really knows how to cater to all uh, to us and our proclivities. And it's time to go. Jeeves, activate the recall. <laughs> I don't even have to escort them back out. It's like bye. So yeah, it was just. Hang out in the dungeon for some unit of time. Don't kill any orcs. At least the quest orcs. Have some orcish. I accept. Ah, my work here is done. Stealth running and archery. Huzzah! Nothing new, and I can do of orcs and men again. This is my life now, Jabber. Just walk into a dungeon with some people. Yeah, sure. Yeah, mild levels of danger. <laughs> Let's see if uh, this results in the same outcome. That's a Daedroth. That's a nymph. We're good? Help, nymph! Nymph, I'm busy. Nymph, I don't have time, I'm busy. I gotta find some orcs, okay? Excuse me. Nymph, stop laughing, it's not funny.
she actually followed me all the way down here. Pacified a Daedra using her Daedric skill. Huzzah! You guys done in this dungeon? You wanna... And we gotta have another work spawn. Okay. I wonder if they want me to explore, like, a certain amount of the dungeon. I don't know. We're here doing research, and we're pacifying... Oh, a teleporter dungeon. Hmm. Let's go up here instead. <laughs> hey, bud. Hey, other bud. Hello, Fire Adronach. That was rude. How you doing? Ow. Excuse me. <laughs> Fire arch like, where the fuck did you come back from? Hi. Oh no, it's another nymph. Ow. Healing potion. Excuse me. What do you mean the nymph died? I can't believe it. What do you mean all the fig tea damage in the world didn't save her from the enemies? I hope they're getting their money's worth from this tour. You know, when they pay me. That's an important animal, then. Excuse me, let me, let me go scoop up some money here. I have committed no violence. Hello, orcs. Yes, there are enemies nearby. Wink. Oh, that's a lycanthrope. Hmm. There we go. We got our money. So yeah, all I gotta do is drink a healing potion run around a little bit. Pass some... It's not even pass some orcish checks beyond, I imagine, a first one. Just don't attack any fucking orcs by accident. <laughs> and then we win. Alright. Joke time's over. So fucking funny now. Ten hit points. We did get a four there, though. All right, max HP. Minimum attribute gain. Yeah. So, um. Nymphs steal fatigue damage with their attacks, and that does work in Classic, you know. Both Nymphs and Lamias with how they work, but, um... Well, that doesn't do anything to other enemies. So, when monster infighting is around in Daggerfall Unity, they're just screwed. You, they could knock unconscious, though they don't deal a whole lot of fatigue damage. 
So yes, over the course of all the years I spent playing this game, and we just celebrated Daggerfall's 26th anniversary yesterday, so near 26 years of playing this game, I have certainly been killed by a nymph before. But I'm trying to think of an enemy that has, uh... It's killed me less than the nymph has in this video game. The Spriggan? Because of how rare it is? <laughs> how have I been enjoying the mod? Uh, the archaeologist mod has been pretty fun and a great match for the revival of the linguist character. As I suspected it would be. We might change clothes later. The tree just keeps growing back! Of course, as a, a note, I do still hear the Daedroth in this dungeon. It's a good thing, though, we have so much Daedric to pacify them. That we can see eye to eye and we can be friends. I don't think I need to use the recall anchor that I put outside of the dungeon. We'll just travel back. Since you know, the quest is already done. Let's get these robes identified. So, uh, I mean, that's a way to earn money. It's different. Go into any other fucking dungeon, we'll sprinkle in some quest orcs. Okay. <laughs> Priestess robes of good luck cast when held jack of trades. Okay. Fine. Probably just sell those. So that puts me down on this page to not having done the lost language. And that's it. All the other things that have popped up uh, that are not listed, we've done them already. So, Lost Language, and then whatever might be behind that, and then if any further quests unlock if as we rank up further. So for that, I'm gonna need some Nymph, and I don't think 22 is gonna cut it. Let's get to work, shall we? Gotta scroll down for this. There's a training uh, overhaul mod active, which is in affecting the price. Also bringing mercantile and personality into the cost equation. Is this meaning, though, that uh, I have been paying out the nose for some of this training, but we're actually at a point now where I'm not paying as much as it would cost me to train this skill. Instead of 900 gold per session, it's it's escalating, though, as you could say, as the skill value goes up. So eventually it will be higher than my level.
We have enough money for one more session, and only just. We have a few items the general store will be interested in. What time of year is it? Second seed. Right. Third of the way to level 10. Hello! I get no one shopkeep. We got bows! I want to keep a backup bow. We should probably keep a backup bow. Sell these robes. I might want to change clothes at some point. Uh, do you have a few arrows laying on shelves? You do? Let's buy those for zero gold pieces. What a deal. I typically have this portion of Gothway Garden. Here there are witches out there. Indeed. Barbie witches. So I haven't figured out yet how I'm gonna survive an enemy when they fucking smack me for a, a shitload of damage. I do have more than a hundred hit points, which means, uh, a lich the hauls back and smacks me for a hundred HP. I could, uh, I could live through that hit. So that's nice. Just with this bow and these dreams, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pacify all of the all the enemies that could kill me. Daedra's, Daedra. Vampires and liches, etiquette. The shadow spies and the archaeologist guild hate each other. Gasp. Okay. There we go. Got some etiquette training in. Jumped around some more, too, for the hell of it. Right. Medical etiquette, jumping, nymph, mercantile, and running. We'll, uh, we'll pay for one more session. But they do. They do not see how to... We've done a number of quests that have been angled against the Mages Guild. Alright. That should take me to 29%. I don't know whether that will be good enough. Uh, so we might do one other thing. One other dungeon dive, secure some money. Train some more nymph and then try that, uh, that nymph quest. And then if nothing else appears, then, uh, we might just put the, uh, the archaeologist guild aside and do what exactly? I'm not sure. I might go acquire some money, wink. And I'm not talking about borrowing from the bank. If I was going to do that, I would have done that a long while back. See, Skeletons of the Closet does reward pretty well. But let's do Discrete Text Retrieval. It's the first quest we did for the Archaeologist Guild. I earned 32 gold. You gotta pay me more. Like, you paid me over 700 to start us off. There we go. Yes. Ancient Magical Text. Didn't you just... You've sent me to Vajladon before. Sure, whatever. I don't care. I'll go back. Doesn't bother me. Remember when I repaired my uh, Mark of Recall for 7,040 gold? 
Those were good times. <laughs> and I was like, how much? If I could make magic items, I could fucking make a marker recall it's cheaper than this. Yes, back here once more in Vajladon. And I remember, like, I can't pick up a small statue, so they sent me here to pick up something smaller, and it started me in this module. And there's giants in here, we can pacify them using our giantish skill? Oh boy. Instant rewards. Those are each really fucking heavy. I'll pick this stuff up and then immediately go haul it back to the fucking wagon. I could have carried one of those other items, whatever. I gotta be worth that much. So, I'm looking for a book laying on the ground. Alas, werebores don't have treasure. So... That's unfortunate. No treasure for me. Not from them, anyway. Let's go to a different module over here. No enemies in this room. Hmm. No book. Locked door. Should be a dead end room with a werebore inside, I suppose. Can you get out of there? Hey, you did it. Good work. Listen, I can only do so much for you. There you go. A ware sausage? <laughs> hmm. Full of jokes. Hello! It's all to lure me into a false security. I step next to the giant fucking giant great clubs. I mean, God! <laughs> Well, son of a bitch. They got me. Certainly a much different experience than the last time I was in this dungeon fleeing. <laughs> From the giants. Pacified Orc Warlord. Hooray! And of course, no secret door down here. Alright. But the Orc Warlord could have so many prizes, so much loot. Oh well. Hmm, that's not a pacified giant. That's okay, we have a friend. We're gonna introduce you to our friend. Friendship. Oh shit! Just <laughs> obliterated. Oh man. Yep. Or core lord indeed. Veteran of many battles. <laughs>
Oh, that... That caught me off guard. It's not that the giant one, it's just... How swift that conflict resolved itself, you know? Oh, ow. I guess we're not friends. Oh, okay. That's how I use search corners, by the way. Run in pirouette. Hmm, guess we're not friends. Our first orc shaman of the run. Well, so much for that confrontation, huh? Hi. The reason why I put my weapon away is it improves the pacification chance roll. That's why I bother with it. Okay, there's a quest location and a secret door on the other side here. Uh, the lever to manipulate that over is there. So it's time for Operation Advanced Climbing. Hmm. One moment. Noticing some awkwardness with the audio here and the microphone output. Looks good. Didn't notice that the sir of the broadcast. Be the first time that sprung up on me in the middle of a broadcast. Also, that orc warlord being there is annoying. Let's see what we can do. This was not in the base game. When you climbed, you just did that in a straight vertical line. There was no pausing and hanging in the air to stop, none of this swiveling around corners shit. That's uh, from Daggerfall U today. Hello. How you doing? I might use this device now, okay? I am not gonna use this device, because I haven't explored enough of this dungeon yet. Well, alright then. Potion to cure disease? Yeah, okay. You don't have a ranged weapon and you can't climb. <laughs> Fucking repel mode. Can't trust that shit. And I can't carry anymore. I am overburdened. Well, that 7 kilogram elven warhammer can probably just go hang out elsewhere. Book! Yearbook. 
Goodbye, Ultima Phoenix. Rest well, my champion. Hmm. Suspicious squint. It is, I guess it is Privateer's hold, so... This is not, Dungeon is not actually Privateer's hold. Instead, this is the, uh, you know, the throne module. There's not a throne in it this time, but it's the same module, just with a different variation. Hello. I heard that door open over there. The giant died. All right. Good stuff. I softened him up. Wereboard knocked him down. I think they're in their own lycanthropy category. Which is not a category I can have a phobia of. Yes, the door lock level 16. How could I forget? Last time I was in this dungeon, that's where my quest item was. Behind that door. And I tried to go around to get around the door because there was a giant standing there. But I wasn't able to go around. And I was like, what do you mean I can't go around? Orc Shaman out here trying to fucking snipe. Well, item's not over here this time. Interact. Ow. Okay, then. Gonna be one of those days, huh? Whatever. Whatever. I did not want to try and pick that up. I also did not want to try and pick that up. Ah, because I would have needed to go around that way in order to get to that point. Okay, I see how the module connected. Intriguing. Let's take a nap. Lockpicking, stealth, climbing, running, archery, critical strike. Come on down! Do -do -do, do -do -do. Do 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 <laughs> There you go. That worked out pretty well, I'd say. Alright, I need to go check up here. So that means we gotta deal with you. I beg your fucking part. There it is. There is violence around us, chat room. Alright, the Warp Warlord's not guarding the ledge anymore. You fool, you got distracted by the giant. That's a short sword. Oh, that'll, that'll be alright. Hmm. Yes, we're quite familiar with this now, aren't we? <laughs> alright. 
Let's see if that's good enough for you now. The locator device vibrates and hums in action. You'll see a bright disc in your mind when looking in the direction of your desired target. Over there? Yeah, okay. Well, we had our fun over here, I guess. Had to repair this fucking bow again. We good? Yeah, we're good. Ow! I got hit by a lichen throw. My face is gonna melt now. That's how that works, I'm pretty sure. Could it be in a separate module? You know what? Maybe. Ow. <laughs> Go back over to that module then. Hey, bud. Thought I'd check. Whoop. Can't carry any more gold, right? Right. Eh. That might very well be in the module I started in. I just uh, ended up coming over here because I... A, didn't want to be in those noodly passages, and B... Let me do this other area. Come back over here then, I guess. Hmm, indeed. Take this route, should lead me up. does leave me up, as a matter of fact, leads me straight into the fucking entrance. It's the potions that we're carrying. We carry, uh, fewer of these. Put that in the wagon for the time being. All right. See if I can remember these noodly passageways well enough. Uh, right, 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 the skull. You are not my friend. You are incredibly dumb. Befriended you, yes? Good. If this isn't the way to that dead end room, okay, yeah. If yeah, that isn't the way to it. Alright, it's the magical text. If I read that, it the last time it summoned an imp. Well, this is pretty dar right dungeon dive. Our uh, quest target was pretty close to us. Not that we could have known that for certain. Psst. 
And there's some other loot I could have grabbed right there at the end. No big deal. Got a little bit of gold in the wagon. Alright. Power sleep. Stealth, climbing, dodging, running, archer, scalpel, sponge, magic wand, nymph. I do like this uh, guild room not having a set location that it wants to put you to when you fall asleep. Meaning that you don't have to keep running back to the skill trainer. Should be at 93? Yes, which means pre-level 10. I'm getting my 100 speed. That is 100 speed. Seven hit points, though. Let's be greedy. Just trained. Greed. All right, minimum hit points, but I get an extra stat point. I lost one hit point there in the exchange. Okay, that's fine. I can put myself up to forty. Like, what? Where am I going next? Ah, oh, I don't know. Hmm. Well, strength would be pretty handy. Agility is a whatever. Willpower is absolutely a whatever. I talked in character creation how I was tempted to just tank willpower and luck. But I chose not to to make a more well-rounded character that I guess didn't get hit by a fucking disease and just got obliterated. Due to willpower damage. But willpower doesn't... has a very low impact. I'm not going to be putting any more points into Endurance, because that's not retroactive. We'll cap out intelligence, and I'll probably go after personality. I like being authoritative. The, uh, like the higher personality categories, I don't like their descriptive names for them. They're dumb. That, that, that's my determining factor there. They're, um, it's just one step higher. It's called charismatic. So we have abhorrent, unpopular, anonymous, unassuming, unremarkable, interesting, charming, arresting, authoritative, charismatic. What the fuck? Put charismatic next to charming and then put arresting and authoritative at the top. Or, I don't know, pick a better word than charismatic. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway. Personality would uh, actually help a little bit more with uh, lowering my 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 prices of training and increasing the prices of goods I sell. Let's let's cap out intelligence. You know, for all the spells we cast, right? Wink. Right. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. Good. 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 That's how fast we're supposed to be. How fast we were meant to be. <laughs> From the dawn of time. They said we couldn't be that fast. They were full of shit. Whoever they were. We throw them in the trash. Because they're dumb. 
That's right, Trey. Super dumb. sleep here until tomorrow. Really, until nine. My mercantile skill is improved. What's that up to? In the 50s somewhere, yes? That's not how we look at that, Grimoth. 67. Yeah, okay. That's, uh, that's a bit higher than the 50s. Hello. Any news? I'm level 10. I could do the entire main quest. The more I level now, the more dangerous everything's gonna get. High stakes linguism. Not linguistics, linguism. Hermes, I'm pretty sure that shh. John linguism. Allow me to show you all my transitive properties, baby. Excuse me. <laughs> what the hell is he saying? I don't know. Twitch directed me here. Starting to think this was a bad recommendation, but it's like a car crash. I just keep gawking. Hello, shopkeep. I am here to sell you a thing. having a few gold pieces on hand are cart full of locator devices and potions and my backup bow we'd start finding daedric shit now you know not that I expect to find that in this pawn shop oh yeah and enchanting items yes yes that's right yes what do I want to enchant Hmm. That's a common symbol. Normal amulet? Yeah, we don't have to have these equipped. Give me an amulet, please. One unit of amulet. I'll buy the bracer. We could we could always make that lighter. We'll see. I don't know what I might enchant yet, so... Or what effects I might put on things. Go look. I should also probably queue up the bow we're being repaired, yeah? Well, we can't do that right now. Hello! I am here to enchant a bread. Greetings. How are you? Here is an item. Cash when used. Recall. Do you see how it can be cheaper? <laughs> than the extortion. Let's compare. If I go get this repaired, how much you want to charge me these days? Yeah, 5,600. How about go fuck yourself? I'll never need you again. 
the, the marker recall breaks. He's like, you know you have to replace that, right? What? <laughs> what do you mean? Look at these. Look at these items. Just waiting. Just waiting for me to enchant them, for me to breathe life into them. Carry more. Have your weight. I think that's it. Mule bracers. I don't care about the fancy names today. We'll call this plus hoarding. That's what it is. Everyone knows that's what it's about. Plus hoarding. Bam. Ninety, and you can see it only weighs half a kilo, a quarter kilogram instead of half a kilogram. Would we'll just be there forever. Look at how fucking fast this character is now. <laughs> will be 10-ish. Four minutes. 10-ish indeed. You. News. I think I'm gonna get the bow repaired and then I'm gonna go on a road trip. If uh, you've been watching uh, recent playthroughs of uh, me playing Daggerfall, you'll know where this is going and you'll know why I'm going there. And if you don't know, well, that's okay, too. It'll be a journey of discovery. Uh, hopefully profitable. But I am level 10 now. So there will be some some perils, some dangers, some risk. I may want to stock up on some potions. We'll see. You. Repair bow. Bow repair. That's you. Your starving family. I understand. Times are hard. We should go buy some more arrows, if any are available. And none of my language skills will be able to help me. Because all of these will be quest-affiliated enemies. So they can never be pacified. Not that I would want them to be pacified anyway. Because I want them for... The loot on their bodies. <laughs> Hello! Do you have... Any amount of arrows that I could buy for free from you? I'm gonna take that as a no. You've learned never to stock arrows. After how I bamboozled you out of arrows. Oh, hey, I don't have to pay to buy arrows from you either. Good. All is as it should be. We could buy bandages and other things too and sell them at a profit, but we'll, we'll let it be. That is, that is not this kind of run. Not what we're doing here. You, you're gonna charge me, gold. Your shop is too high quality. You will not fall for my tricks. Seeing all manners of awesome clothes that I could decorate my character with. Ah. <laughs> I 
Okay, see? Look at that. Daedric Warhammer. They're out there. If I saw a Daedric Longbow on a shelf right now, chat room, I may very well just set a recall anchor and then come back at night after the shop's closed and fucking break into the store. As it stands, uh, there would be good profit in me doing that to take the stuff on these shelves, but... No, no, I would, I would only take it if I were going to use it. Not sell it. We have other ways to get that money that'll be more entertaining. That being said, I could borrow 500,000 gold from the bank right now. I could go visit every single region of this game and borrow 500,000 gold because I'm level 10. Okay, I'm going to need to rest up for my trip, so... Road trip. Let's go. Yes, it is good they hid it from me. I said something about buying some potions before I left. Let's do that. You, shop man. Man of shop. Uh, I'm gonna need this potion of healing. But we're gonna leave the orc strength alone. Give me that too. Shop man. Give me that potion of heal true. I'm gonna need some fucking heals. Okay, so I this is an investment. Potion of teleportation. I like the fact that, that exists, by the way. I think that's I think that's neat. And certainly, uh, cheaper than, uh, with how much I use recall, but, eh. They gave me a marker recall. The fact there's a recipe for it, too, meaning that even if you have this mod installed and aren't doing stuff the Archaeologist Guild, really, you could, you could make your own recall teleportation potions. Okay, we want to have some travel money, so I can't, I can't be going full hog wild here. Okay, I think that's going to be enough. Yes. Yes. Yes! Yes! Road trip! Okay, chat room, this is going to take a little bit. Chat room, I need to actually go get my fucking bow back first. <laughs> Glad I noticed that. I'm like, hmm. I don't have my bow. It's being repaired. As I knew I would need it. Hopefully I will remain within the boundaries of the world. When did I deliver this to you? Okay. Six hours. Probably delivered it to you when the guild opened, huh? Yeah, yeah, I, I seem to recall that. So it's gonna be another five hours, yeah? Yeah, 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 that's okay. We'll say, we'll say. There. Now it's 11.30, you've had it for 24 hours. Ding, bow's done. Now, <clears throat> road trip. Six of the mid-year, uh, we should make this road trip during the day. Oh, it's the mid-year celebration. Village temples offer blessings for only half the donation they usually suggest. You know, blessings. Because that's a mechanic that exists in the Elder Scrolls II Daggerfall. Blessings. Uh, uh, you know what? This will be the first time I've made this trip at night. Let's do it. 
I was considering uh, making it during the daytime, but what the hell. Good. We can make her face appear. That way we can have something to look at, besides, you know, the terrain. Pretty though it is. So, classic Daggerfall doesn't really do elevation. A giant just spawned to come get me. I saw that glitch in the Matrix, but then we pacified it. Bye! Uh, you've got, like, little mounds, little pieces, but it's just not the same. Another enemy has spawned to fight me. I guess it is nighttime. Many perils abound. But uh, the game was intended to you know, possess this manner of topography and render it appropriately. But like many other things, uh, it, the Elder Scrolls II Daggerfall just doesn't quite. another mod I saw that intrigued me, but I knew just wasn't going to come up during this run. Um, it's a mod that uh, changes how the levitate like spell sort of like quality works. It gives it a magnitude variable, so that if magnitude is set high enough, you move quicker in levitation. Because, you know, when you cast Levitate, you move around slowly. Well, this spell's like, no, 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 no. You, you get enough magnitude on that, you can zip around the fucking... figured with what I was seeing over there. Looks like my sweet spot ahead. Then I'll turn and go up there. At this point, I've made this trip from multiple angles. I've come at it from the Dunyak Excavation. I've accidentally overshot and then come at it from the south instead of the north. What I'm out here to find is a witch coven. And while I certainly have visited quite a number of witch covens uh, across the Iliac Bay, I just know how to get to this one. Uh, through slow travel at this point. So instead of learning a new one, just go to this one. It also works because uh, this region, uh, as a recent playthrough discovered, um, well, it has one valid location for where uh, finding a an imprisoned sister can be. In that dungeon, there's one valid location for where that sister's allowed to stand. Means it's less a quest and more a guarantee. I've really come at this area all fucking weird. Yeah. Went way too north there. Just completely ignored my sweet spot. <laughs> Started fucking around. That's 
what I get for traveling out here at night. Driver's vision isn't as good as it used to be. So if you see any witches, they're screaming. Ah, Dad, stop the car! Witches! Okay, this odd angle I've taken of the the situation. Although I do appreciate the map having popped up there. I need to go more this way. Of course, given stream delay. It doesn't matter. We have reached our destination. Now you can see, it's on our map. Maryland Cabin. Uh, you can get maps for these. Uh, they're a semi-secret thing, these witch cabins. Or, you know, you could just know where they are. And then carry that knowledge... You can carry that knowledge between playthroughs. There we go. Arriving at our destination caused the witches to send a, uh... A, uh, a momentary lag spike at my ISP. That's what happened there. Okay. Yes. They know exactly what I'm here for. Wasted no fucking time. Oh. Well, I shall also waste no time. How you doing? You uh, you ready to ready to go on a trip? You have reached your destination. Praise Sanguin! No more prison for you, straight to execution this time. Guess we have to do this fight uh at night. A lot of enemies are going to spawn at once, because uh, I'm not going to do a great job of resolving them quick. But that's going to create some interesting uh, crossfire with all these arrows. A lot of shots I need to kill a warrior, and we'll just hold off on looting until everyone's dead. If you could stop drifting towards the fucking, like, <laughs> 2D sprites, please? They're gonna be pretty good at tracking a target, especially with them weaving around me. The reason why I wanted to stop drifting towards the 2D sprites is because they might use that, too. My shots might hit those people instead. Which won't cause me any punishment or penalty, but also won't deal any damage to the people I'm trying to kill. I 
might have to do some looting, though, in retrospect, just to get my arrows back. Okay, I need to lower the sound here. We're going to hear a lot of clopping in our lives. A mithril longbow. Too many bodies stacked up at once. What is it that you expected uh, archery to be? It's an elven helm. Let's put that on. There we go. Get to get to see some more hair now. Yeah. Got ourselves a backup bow. Let's go ahead and keep that in our hands. Damn, missed. Yeah, I'm changing my stance on whether I'm going to loot or not conflicts, and I guess I'll just keep that bow in there unless I actually need it. This is definitely the slowest I've killed these warriors. High speed uh, killer. This character is not Holding down would increase damage. Ah, uh, okay. I got you. Oh. There we go. Good stuff. Bunch of steel in there. Just whatever. Oh, better heal. Trying to bring your, uh, your, uh, your more modern game tank to System Shock. Credit to you for trying to go for headshots and. With how that game controls, right? Good shoot. Alright. Well, I've certainly uh, made back enough money to pay for the cost of potions and the travel time. I'm going to need you to defeat Shodan within eight hours, please. I know folks who like to play games at the, uh, like, the hardest difficulty setting from the beginning, as if the games were balanced to be played like that. In the case of that game, it's a, um, you kind of should know what you're doing and where you're going and how you clear the game before you put yourself on a time limit like that. 
Permit, I'm just gonna save and load the game. Like, well, okay. <laughs> I guess you could. I could do is bob like out of uh, melee range and back into melee range to see if I can entice these enemies to not want to shoot me that much, but yeah, this is fine. This is not a situation though where I'm having to worry about killing them so quick that I'm idling waiting for more to spawn, as I have with all the other situations I've been in doing this. Would you believe that my archery skill is going to level up by a point after this? Boop there. That's right, deck guy. We should be allowed to fight them all off. Some bullshit. Suddenly, 30 dudes appear around you. Ebony Claymore? Alright. That'll, that'll be nice to sell. It's not something, you know, for us, of course. I was hoping to, uh, get two of the warriors closer together. I suppose if I block their shots like that, they are inclined to move. Excuse me, my, my, my bag is too full. I haven't saved it during any of this as a reminder, so if I go down, I go down. Let's, uh, let's have a drink from our never-tiring holy water. Oh. Alright, our bow has uh, started to slip down into yellow durability. We cleared them all, for now. I've damn near filled the wagon with all their trash. Hello. It's about sunrise. I've been fighting out here for over an hour. And this, you know partly satisfies my urge to be in a big arena fighting a whole bunch of folks at once. Which is not quite the same as the Elder Scrolls arena. You know, their name kept because the game was kind of intended for a different thing. And, well, they had all the marketing materials. So, yes, it's called the arena because of how dangerous it is. I'm a level, you folks. A I've played some Elder, Girl, Elder Scrolls games that came out after Arena. I haven't heard of people referring to Tamriel as the Arena <laughs> since Arena. The 
the arena of cosmic forces? Hmm. Dude, man, we just go ahead and scoop this up here momentarily. I've picked up so much junk, and I've filled the damn wagon. Incredible. Time to start being pickier, I guess. Hold on, let me let me have a sip from this. As a matter of fact, let me here. You get to live uh, on this number. That's my sippy cup number. My chalice number. Well, even if these were Town Guard City Watch, they wouldn't say halt. Because 14.4 uh, has, uh, has broken them. We are bereft of halt. Which kind of ruins my fun with, like, provoking City Guards and having them halt after me. I haven't done it in a while because of that. I'm supposed to say halt, Mom. Just had to make do with the materials they were given, yeah? Like, well, we already have this stuff. We changed the game. We paid for this already. This is the game that's happening. That's why it's the arena. The end. Eternal champion in anonymity. We good? I think that was 30. That might have even been 31. Alright, we did it. I guess I'll go deliver Ursilia Melkor's doppelganger. You you noticed that, by the way. Wait, right? That avatar up there is the same as the haunted look here? Good. <laughs> yeah, Pongo. Closing the loop, indeed. I'm glad my uh, my save files could still exist because of how I hoard and pack red save files to send to Hazelnut. And uh, I'm really enjoying uh, both what uh, Hazelnut did as well as JH with the quest. They've uh, just been pretty entertaining. Alright, well, my work here is done. The fields of carnage can be left, and we're gonna go sell all this mostly junk I picked up. This stuff is not junk. Streetwise, stealth, dodging, destruction, archery, critical strike, you don't say. character is far more of a badass in a short time than the original linguist, but uh, that's in part because, well, I do know the game better, and while that first attempt was me sticking my finger in my eye, <laughs> this one's filled with more knowledge. Plus, I get to benefit from things like monster infighting, 
and some other Daggerfall Unity quirks on top of the Archaeologist Guild, which caters towards a character just like this one. Okay, before I sell anything to you, good sir, I need to need to find where the fuck this book is so I don't accidentally sell it. And I did. Great. So we're gonna keep that, and we're gonna... I could train my mercantile to the, the ends of the earth now. We're not gonna worry about that, though. Okay. Anything in the... You know what? I think it's time to go. We'll... We have the opportunities to update fashion at another time. <gasps> Let's begin, chat room! <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Lung Capacity. I know I can count on you. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Have an adamantium longbow there. Yeah, my understanding is that uh, the work being done uh, on Arena the same veins told out, as Pongo noted in chat. All right, so uh, this is why I don't bother with, you know, crud like this. Don't need to hoard all this shit. But uh, here we go. This should take care of our training costs for a little bit. And uh, magic item crafting costs. Good quality all around. Yeah, freshly squeezed. <laughs> No oh, shit, I'm paid with a letter of credit, you don't say. Alright. 86 gold pieces, good Orsilia, and it's yours, my friend. Rude song, ah oh, yes. That book. We're going to be making our own mark of recall. This thin as a fuck spinning wheel. All right. Phew. Oh. Well. Our mercantile skill improved. Hmm. How about that? Okay, so how many of these potions did I end up quaffing? Not many. But I had like ten normal healing potions get going into that, and I drank seven of them. Okay. Let's uh remove one of those, put three of those in there. Carry on a bunch of weight of that stuff. Alright. Now, what I want to ask myself is whether I do actually want to create any magic items for the character beyond me just being able to hoard more shit. I think I'm going to hold off on it. I know I did buy these knickknacks, but... I'm not looking to accelerate the character's power in that way, like that, at this time. Because enchanting items is going to invariably lead me to, since I don't fiddle around with side effects, uh, I'd have like a strengthens armor, and then, you know, we'll 
enhanced skill Daedric. <laughs> Look for a diamond so I could regenerate health in darkness, because that would be worth 3,000. We'll leave it there. We do have some pretty jewelry. What we really should do is use that money to level up so that we become more of a menace and the enemies around us become more menacing too, right, Wink? Yeah, that's courtesy of, the tr courtesy of the Transparent Windows mod. Only McBeefing done. Uh, it also has, like, a fireplace sound effect that it does, too. Don't worry about that. But I turned that off. I didn't like how it crackled. But yeah, as we're looking through the windows outside, and you can watch people as they walk around, too. You can see how the scenery's changing out there. You can see the rain falling, and then you can hear that on the building. Pretty cool. I like it. Probably go get this bow repaired. Go ahead and cue that up. It's been a nice treat for myself to uh, end our summer of 22 with Daggerfall. And uh, uh, put aside the game for a while. Bringing back the linguist. Revamped. The archaeologist mod. And uh, with a few others thrown in. Just to show off what can be done. Yeah, you could. It was there. Let's, uh, pop in one of the general stores here. So far, I'm enjoying everything I slapped on the game. The, uh, the temples being able to cure poison is entirely useless for this character, but I'm glad that it does exist. This dialogue does mention that, uh, temples should be doing that, too. Uh, it just makes sense. I don't know if I would, like... Uh, so the Archaeologist mod, like, the Archaeologist guild is, uh, really fun for this character. It's also really good. So I gotta think about, uh... In the future time, uh, when when I inevitably play Daggerfall again, whether I would play with this more. I said I think the mod I'm going to have the most trouble like <laughs> getting rid of is this this hotkey bar. Preventing me from having to flip to my inventory or go to use magic item. Allowing me to see all the item durabilities that I have down there at a glance. Ugh. The second hardest one's probably the Roland SC-55 music. And that doesn't even change gameplay. <laughs> That bar down there definitely changes gameplay. It's not just a matter of, like, accessibility and convenience. That makes me, like, operate quicker in combat. The transparent Windows one was just, sort of like, a, threw it in to see how it would look. Still fucks with my head. You know, this isn't even, like, you know, Vanilla Enhanced or Dream. Dream, which wants you to have several gigabytes of space free, uh, recommends a solid-state drive. <laughs> A 
Elder Scrolls 3 through 5, given the mail list, but... You think Arena sucks? As for uh, Morrow and being hard and clunky, it's aged. He says playing Daggerfall. It's aged, yeah. yeah. Alright, what it was Nymph I wanted to work on? Yeah. But I gotta do that uh, only remaining quest I haven't seen on the list thus far. That sounds right. Let's get the Nymph in then. Jumping over slanted mountains, being haunted by cliff racers. <laughs> NPCs talking shit to you, but they have voices, so... You can't just walk past the sprites and ignore them. You can, because their scathing words follow you every step of the way. Morrowind's a good game. I said it before over this past summer of 22. Thinking back on Morrowind, one of the... I'm willing to call this problems I had with the video game. Is that I wanted to fucking try and steal just about everything laying around. <laughs> okay, I see all these items laying around here. How can I abscond with them? And just, I don't, I don't even want to count how, how much time I invested in the idea of, like, okay, I can do this. Uh, <laughs> I grabbed it. Oh, but then I dropped it. Oh, oh, you came here to, like, punish me? Oh, no, I totally don't have it, honest digits. Like, it's on the ground. <laughs> nope. Honest Engines, that damn Mega Man sprite game. Just putting Honest Engines in my head. Okay. We should be uh, pre-level 11 now. What the hell? Yeah, you never know when you'll need the Nymph skill. 8 hit points, 6 stat points. Torn here. Let's put the rest of Let's, uh, we'll cap out personality before I cap out intelligence. Sure. I'll miss out on being authoritative when we, we, when we transcend to the charismatic label. <laughs> That's why I'm remaining unfortunate instead of about average with luck. Nymph's now 44. That's got to be good enough to... ...to do that quest, yes? Go back to archaeology. The Lost Language, please. As you well know, Nymph is one of the hardest languages to properly document and master. One of our patrons has so little faith in our ability to translate it that he requires the work be done by an actual living creature, not an archaeologist. Do you have skill enough to converse with them? I think so. 
We are temporarily maintaining one specimen in Garsley Manor inside the Wickhart residence. Their unpredictable natures require some pacifying measures to stay indoors, which wears on their temperaments. In short, know what you're doing when you arrive. Get her input on the sheet I now give you. <laughs> I ask you to just okay. <laughs> hand a nymph like a sheet of paper. <laughs> okay. Like a graphite stick. <laughs> or like an inkwell and a quill. <laughs> Nymph looks at me, fucking throws it at me. Alright, sure. I'm intrigued. I return back to report my findings. Findings. The nymph ate the paper. Fine, I asked you like a normal human being. You jerk. Having barely crossed the threshold, you whistle into the residence expertly to catch the nymph's attention. She calls out to you, and res you respond in like manner. Soon enough, she welcomes you into her temporary home. How you doing? I got a sheet of paper here. I need you to mark this. You greet the creature warmly and ask for the favor of translation. Though somewhat reticent at being held in this building for such purposes, she decides to help you. She explains what she knows concerning the origin and purpose of the paper, which appears to be a list of alchemical ingredients and their purposes for brewing remedies and poisons. You thank her for her kindness, and she bids you a safe return to your home. Well, isn't that swell? Ha 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 ha. I don't think I need to recall that. The bargain shoppers of the known world are out in force today! <gasps> oh, Shopping? 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 Hold on, let me, let me go turn to this quest first. Beers, yes, well, it looks to be a proper order. Can't argue with this. I'm certain our client will be pleased. A job well done, Ursula. Here's payment for your work. Shopping? Okay. Alright, General Store. You're the best I can do right now without me. Like, I could whisk myself to Chester Work, but we're pretty far into the day. So you're the best we got. Give us some deals. Just buy everything from the fucking store. I move nauseatingly fast at this point. You got jokes. That's not good enough. It's shopping day! I'm gonna need you to do better. Yes, I know. <laughs> it's shopping day. Thank you for reminding me, Gabe. This is deeply distressing. I don't need dresses and bras. I need weapons. Armor. Not a day gown or an evening gown. Shopkeep, you are... you are hurting me. I am a bargain hunter. I want to- I'm- you know, I am hunting bargains. Ebony broadsword? Okay, that's a step in the right direction. But I need you to make a couple more steps. How 
much does this cost to buy? Eighteen hundred eighty-seven. Conducting science. Don't mind me. I'm. I am. I am sciencing. Humor my science. Just, uh, yeah. Just, just wanted to look at something there real quick. Just, uh, oh my way. Just, uh, yeah, just, uh, just uh, doing a little bit of shopping here, that's all. Just, uh, just, uh, well, I gotta find something I, you know, I really want first, you know? Like, I'm not gonna be just, like, scooping up crud. I can check all the general stores. It's just a, it's a real shame that I... It's just, you know, I'm going into this one because it's the, it's the really highfalutin place. I guess before we load, we could... We'll check out the one next door. Not the other three, though. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, I would have really loved that to be a bow. Will you sell that to me? Okay. Another ebony dagger, orcish mace. Okay, so these are all... Like... Alright. Hmm. Uh huh. What an, what a curious thing this has become. See, look, I'm not robbing from these stores. I'm just ensuring that the correct instance of reality exists. It's important. I, I, I'm paying these people. You know, instead of just, God forbid, I... I not pay these people. I know, 187 gold. Keep in mind, my mercantile skill is not terrible these days. <laughs> and neither is my personality. So combine that with uh, half prices, we do pretty all right with shopping. This is the correct holiday for this character. And well, perhaps it does not make for riveting gameplay for some, we had our great combat. Now it is time for shopping. The price I bought that Daedric, like, saber for is fucking ridiculous.
Like, I'm not actually going to keep this rally where I sell all of them, but I just wanted to, you know, look. Yeah. 54717. Like, if I just sold them all right here, right now. And I have more than 54717. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't mind me, I'm just, you know, I just wanted to look at that screen there for a moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, shopping! It's Reseteer all over again. Only I am the one who's shopping. Instead of uh, all these jerks that I have to then proceed to haggle with. Take out a loan? <laughs> no, but you can't go down that slope. Like, once I borrow money, that's it. We're never turning back. I borrow 500,000 gold pieces and just... The game falls apart. Alright, I'm not finding anything that I'm like, Wow! Yowie wowie! Dorbin Claver. Yowie wowie! <laughs> Alright. Alright. Anything else I feel like grabbing that's of note? That silver is not going to be worth enough. But sure, what the fuck, 273? Yeah, why not? Whatever. This reality gets to exist. We could buy the books, too! Hmm. 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 Shopping! Okay. So I bought that for 336. And I sell it for... Sub Shopping! <laughs> Alright. What you got in stores today, bud? You have a Daedric Longbow, per chance? Or, you know, it's just... Something of particular note? Mm -hmm. See, if I had invested the money in magic items, we couldn't shop. And just what a fluke this was. I've certainly encountered this holiday before, but I don't bother to, like, track my, my current time of progression on the calendar. Okay. I, we'll keep this reality. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. Uh-huh. 17 gold for that fucking Dwarven Dagger? You got it. Oh, Galarian the Mystic. That's such a good book. <laughs> Resist urge to buy clothes. And then decorate character. <laughs> I can't carry anymore. <laughs> I am overburdened. Okay. Okay, hear me out here. What if... What if we did it a little, okay? What if we just... Just put all these things in here, and then we'll, we'll buy all the clothes. And then we'll... But except for, like, the footwear. We don't need that. Sure. Why not? Fuck it. Go for it. Sure. 
Let's get him. This is the power of shopping, everyone. You buy things you don't need. That's shopping. Consumerism! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Hold on, all the potions gotta... Ev everything has gotta go in there for now, okay? We'll- we'll sort all of this later. What has this- what has this stream become? <laughs> I have- I have lost control. <laughs> Help. Oh, shit. Alright. Listen, I saw that you had clothes in here, and we're gonna need to have a conversation. about these clothes. And the books. Spent so much on clothes! <laughs> no shit, I can't care anymore. Because my inventory is full of clothes and books. No, 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 no. Try that again. Okay, Kermit. Try not to accidentally sell the, uh, that book. Yeah, that book. You know, that one. That one. That That's the one. That's the book you shouldn't accidentally sell. with some decent pieces in here, too. I don't care if we might now be operating at a loss. You don't understand. There goes the book again. We'll have to find it later. game is struggling under the weight of clothes. Bought everything I want to do in here, right? Yes. Will we profit? <laughs> I know for sure is that we shopped till we dorked. <laughs> till we dropped. Again, complete, you know, serendipity that I ended up here in this moment. Unplanned, but we're here now. Here's my price for my best friends. Yes, I am your best friend. You've never had a friend like me. Now give me the stuff.
Here's the incense shop where things are super pricey. Just imagine, I could reach other stores. Other towns before the day ended. I mean, this could keep happening. What if, what if I just keep, kept shopping? <laughs> There's still some time in the day. <laughs> just have like 30. How did my wagon get this full? <laughs> By a fleet of horses. Yes! <sighs> what has my life become? <laughs> okay, hear me out here. What if... What if I just... Just tried to... We just really, like, squeaked over here to, like... Okay, first, before I do that, though, let's, um... Uh... Hmm. Uh... Hmm. So, the current things was, was that. Okay, let's... I think we're done with tights today. Okay. Alright. This is not an Eodora character. We're not wearing an Eodora character. Get out of here. We're not doing the strapless dress shit anymore. Get out of here. I don't feel like we're in a Khajiit suit with this character. Get out of here. Okay, you do not close this shirt, understood? <laughs> I like this dress. We go into dungeons. We can't wear this. Get out of here. The Adore, definitely not this character. Get out of here. Okay. Short sleeves? All right. All right, all right. I said it was a possibility. Not this year. Get out of here. Maybe. That's the one that we have to, like, close shut ourselves. This one can't ever be opened like that. has a... Hey. Well, it doesn't do things with the belt. It's just really short. It really is a short shirt. Okay. I like this color. No tights. Not feeling yellow. We feeling a brassiere? I don't think so. We're still not doing any adoring. Get out of here. We feel in loincloths? Absolutely not. Get the hell out of my face. <laughs> Priestess robe. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. <laughs> peasant blouse. I'm not a peasant. It's a nice color. What do you think it is? Is this Carmen? No. Get out of here. Get out of here, yellow shirt. We definitely like this 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 can't be though. 
That can't be the one. Grimmis looks over at chat. <laughs> Just totally blanked out on reading chat for several minutes. <laughs> it's okay. No peasant plows. Let's get out of here. Uh, formal brazier. No, no. Dago. I mean, I like how it looks. I just, I do not feel compelled to wear that in a dungeon. About that color. I'm going with, you know, uh... Well, there's a vibe going here, for sure. More on that later. Wraps? No. Especially not that color. Pass. But that shirt. Maybe. Oh, yeah, this. Oh, this. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hold that thought. Get out of here. Don't think so. Get out of here. You get removed. We can be like all of the other, like, people we walk around fighting who, yeah, yeah. Don't think so. Get out of here. I like that color, but I'm not really feeling that with this character. We're gonna pass on that. Beautiful evening gown. We're gonna have to remove that cloak. Yeah, just not for this character. And, you know, our dungeon explorations. Get out of here. Um. Ah! Yeah, I saw some fashion-related things, Paco. I, uh, I resisted the urge. But damn it, I thought about it. Huh. I like that look. I like the shirt in a slightly different color, but... Because of all that, like, how, like, skin-flavored it all is. <laughs> Just don't think so for this character. No. Get out of here. Again, no peasant blouses. That long shirt in a slightly different flavor. Keep our options open. That's definitely not happening. Get out of here. Uh, the shirt in a slightly different flavor. Looks like I, uh, I cycled through them. Alright, so... I'm seeing a theme here on the, uh, the shirt I've chosen. <laughs> Alright. Sleeves make sense. I can roll them back. Adventure. The hand being like that, just, just got, it just, I'm looking at that now, it's just, whatever, we're gonna move on with our lives. Okay. 
good news, I have multiple flavors of this shirt to choose from. I even have one that, uh, doesn't go as long. There, and I presume I have others of that type, too. That I have somehow managed to look past in my adventures. Or, you know, that I used in any capacity. Because there's a lot of fucking clothes in here. I don't like the torn sleeves like that. You're not poor. <laughs> That's right. Not that there would be a problem that if you were poor, but you're not poor. <laughs> we're an archaeologist, damn it. We can afford the finer things in life. That's how that works, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure there is one, Manly McBeefington. I'm pretty sure there is. So I've got plenty of upper garment flavors, but when it comes to lower garment flavors... I mean, there's Khajiit soup, but I am not, like... With looks at the tights. <laughs> Frowns deeply. <laughs> this is still... No, no, no. Get the, get the hell out of here, rap. Don't like those tights. No blind cloths. And while uh, I do like how that uh, long skirt looks, I just don't think that's pro. I, I just don't want this character to wear it. I think I like these casual pants more than these casual pants. Yeah, a loose. But obviously, like, some room that you could, like, pull them back down. They're bunched up there a little bit. I get a bit more pizzazz to them than these. You've been voted off the island, pants. Okay. These are with these pants and 1,700 different shirts. <laughs> That looks jarring. Just that transition there. It's the same color! I'm gonna go with this. Dion subscribing! Hey, Dion. How's it going? I'm, uh... I'm trapped in fashion right now. It's not what I'm gonna do. Get back here. Okay. Oh, that... Oh, that... Most compelling argument I've seen for the skirt. <laughs> My battle skirt. We'll get over it. Perfect. 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 Okay. Whew. That kind of wore me out. <laughs> All right, hear me out here. What if... Oh. Oh. Shops. I don't have a lot of money on hand right now, but shops. Shops? Shops. Shops? What happened to this playthrough? Where, where did this broadcast go? <laughs> Jobs? Ah. Oh. 
But we we didn't properly evaluate how the form. I mean, I, oh. <laughs> and the spikes. Oh. God help us. <laughs> Oh, shit. Or get an issue, like, saving and loading to, like, force... ...force items to be here at this point. I think I'm, uh, I think I'm good. I have a nice, cozy formal cloak. I only have, like, casual cloaks. I do dislike how the pulverin sticks out of there. We'll fix that in post. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Yeah, it's my it's my quiver. What kind of quality pawn shop is this? Practical pawn shop. Okay. Don't imagine there'll be anything here. I go, wow, Zors. But you know, I was proven wrong about that before. By a ring. By that maze. Good, good. We're dual wielding chat room. Through Tangled. It's absolutely true. Is that a bank over there? Is that another pawn shop? Oh, it's a jewelry store. Bargain. Do you have any diamonds by chance? I'm, uh. I, I'm, I may be looking for maybe a possible gemstone or 1,700 of them. Uh, you may have doubtlessly heard of my interests and exploits in this matter. Does not appear to be the case. That's fine. I understand. Oh, no, 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 no. Incorrect. Is there some kind of, Um, the prices are not the same between stores, Dion. As a matter of fact, uh, price values will also fluctuate between regions, but I don't know the determination for that. Uh, you can see that if you check the game files. I don't know what all is happening there. Whether, like, your overall, uh, reputation, like, in a region can, like, overall influence prices in your favor, I get, don't know. No, you wouldn't trade between two towns. You would not make enough money. Unless you bought things at zero gold pieces. Like, this game does not have a trading economy. You are not a caravan or merchant leader. <laughs> For as overambitious as Daggerfall is, that's not what they were looking to do with this video game. That was a different color formal cloak. We have two formal cloaks. Not that you can really see them. Oh, oh, yeah, that looks beautiful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. <laughs> a rich red. Zero camouflage. It's the color of mine enemies. I, I hate that so much. <laughs> I swear it.
Mithril Longbow? We can afford that, and uh, that's going to be about it for us in our, uh, our expenditures. You do not have enough gold. Oh, we could have a purple formal cloak. Oh. There we go. That's uh, that's softer on the eyes. I like that. Don't worry about it, Carbine. It's fine. Ah, oh, there we go. All right. Of course, I could have easily sold stuff, particularly at that cruddy quality uh, shop and continue, but oh, we, th this, this did need to end, okay? This, this definitely needed to end. Alright. Shopping on this special shopping holiday is at an end. We have, in fact, dropped. It was it was a good shop, though. A special shop a day. Okay. Tamware. <laughs> All I have is the letter of credit money. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> And that doesn't work, uh, with the... I, w I won't be able to stay at an inn! That, that matters so much. It does not matter that much. We'll be fine. Let's go. Ah, fuck it, sell. Sell something to stay at an inn, man. Excuse me, let me just, uh... What could, what could you possibly want? How about the silver daikatana? Thank you. All right. Now, next step. Find my archaeologist book. I have a fucking legal basics. Oh no, it's back. There we go. Everything I wanted to keep. Well, I've got a bow being repaired at Gothway Garden. Well, Dion, you're not a part of it because um, you 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 weren't here from the start, so you don't this you don't get to be inclusive. In this. I understand why you're confused. All the, all the decorating and then me going from shop to shop. I'm firmly telling you this game, like, is not about you trading. That's not how the video game works. All that was true. Well, I, I didn't intend to, like... Griffith looks up at time. Ah. Uh... It's been a half hour. <laughs> Actually, no. No, no. We discovered Black Friday uh, 40 minutes ago. There's a special holiday that it had merchants sell at half price. And so we went shopping. And now we are going to do... Uh, uh, we're going to empty our pockets. I don't know if I want to sell these shirts. I might like want like a different flavor of shirt, you know? It's important to have options, Jarrow. But the wagon here. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. I have no time for such as you. 
Uh huh, that's our. I could replace this one the Emperor gave me, but we'll sell this. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh, yes. 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 Already with more money than we started, and that's even factoring in the Daedric Shortbow. And we haven't sold this yet. So... The Brothers of Darkness! It's Kane and the Undertaker! It's the little old grimmer from Pasadena! The little old grimmer from Pasadena! Go, grimmer, go, grimmer, go, grimmer, go! Alright. Okay. I may have made a profit. There may have been a slight, uh, furthering of... of my goods. Yes. There may have been. Possibly, potentially, maybe. So, we have this much money, and back in the time of shopping, if I pull the gold I had out in my wagon, we had this much money. So I more than doubled my money, while also keeping some things, like the Daedric Shortbow. I guess my bow's finished at this point. Yes. The Tenth of Sun's Height is a, a half off sale in stores across the land. I did not intend to be in it. We've been in it before over playthroughs, and, you know... We just had enough gold on hand that we capitalized. And uh, after 40 minutes, doubled our money, while also keeping some upgrades. Yes, they were hiding a nymph. Yes, uh, the Mages Guild has a half-day thing, too. That's on, like, its own special day. But of course, it's not like they'll sell you shit. Unless you're a member, except for spells. Yeah. Grimmit, that much time still didn't pass. Let's go pick up the bow. I'm here for my bow, please. Thank you. Great. It's not a Daedric longbow, but I'll, I'll get over. It's time to level this character to the moon. We will go soaring into the stratosphere, and everything will be harder. And it's not like these language skills are really gonna make me better at combat. Hello. 
I guess I will, uh, since I got everything covered here. Did a new quest pop up? Because I didn't check after, uh... Oh my god, JC, a bomb. Apparently, a, a bomb, yes. 100 bits to to bamboozle the fashion police, thank you. No, no new quest popped up. Okay. And the other thing I want to check to see is whether uh, any other quests are buried under a higher rank. And to do that, we'll have to get a higher rank. And I get a higher rank, I'm going to have to train up my Daedric. In order to train up my Daedric, I need to talk to you. I'll pay you some money. Let's get sleeping! I'm sorry, how much did you say that training price was? <laughs> okay. Thought I'd accidentally clicked on dodging there for a moment, but I did not. It's raining now. Yay, rain! In order to get max rank, I'll need to hit 87 in Daedric. Let's get reading. 2,874 gold. Looks like prices are continuing to soar. thanks to my training overhaul mod that's on. Uh, the Archaeologist mod actually would allow you to train in a guild up to your intelligence. And this price would not be scaling like this. I'd be paying 1,100 gold instead of what I'm fucking paying. Congratulations, Ursula, because you're outstanding work for the guild. We have promoted you to the rank of Associate. Great. I'm now, like, an entry-level position at Walmart. <laughs> yeah. Maintenance Associate, Sales Associate, that's me. Just what I always wanted. We've come far from field assistant to field agent, field officer, field director, apprentice, novice, journeyman, and now we're an associate. Well, let me tell you, at fucking Walmart, you can't summon a daydream. <laughs> I don't think, anyway. Maybe I haven't been to the right Walmart. Price like that, I am considering adjusting the mod or fuck it, just like turning it off. But no, no, we'll keep paying. I'll keep paying these exorbitant fees. Because I am only needing to train once. And it's getting everything done. Then again, I do have a 0.3 skill advancement dagger multiplier. I'll make up for it by uh, awarding myself with a pre-level up save so I can squeeze more value out of it. Eight, five. Not with these prices I'm paying. Get out of here. I'm not paying 3,000 gold <laughs> for you to flunk out of college. Seven hit points, sure. 95 person. All right. Mercantile is 90. <laughs> it's my highest fucking scalp. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking cap out on Mercantile before anything else. That's great.
So, like I, I noted, uh, Archaeologist mod uh, does permit you to train up your language skills up to your intelligence uh, in the Archaeologist Guild. It's just the training overhaul mod is sort of supplanting that with uh, its own perspective on things. Uh, that being said, I'll have to see if I am permitted to keep training Daedric up to uh, past 85% given where my intelligence is. Or whether I'll have to tick the mod off or something. My next level up, I should probably up my intelligence so that I could have my Daedric be 87 where I want it to be. That's a thought. Indeed. This character has, uh, has come far in decoration. Many coins were exchanged. Rain and thunder. We'll have to go earn money again soon. It'll be scary. Hold me, chat room. I'm afraid. It seems the students become the master associate. There's nothing more I can teach you. True master and Daedric does not bother with theory their whole life. They put those theories in practice to become innovators. Now get out there and become real master. Yep, so that training aspect is overriding what the archaeologist mod does. That's not a surprise. I can also just, uh, you know what? Hold that thought. We'll, we'll get around to fixing that in a bit, in a GIF. Although I suppose, no, it did let me go to my intelligence. Okay, cool. I'll just have to level up again. We can probably swing that. Uh, Grimoth looks at his language skills. Uh, <laughs> which one of these are we improving next, Chief? Uh, which one of these do you think is going to matter more in a dungeon? We're going to be in Orsidium. Uh, orc? Yeah, Impish just got left by the wayside. Oh, well. No one cared. Orcish. How much is Orcus going to cost us? 861 gold? Yeah, that's cheaper than our level. I also do have to use the scroll wheel, though, and it's tragic. Look at this power leveling. We're going to be so effective in combat, guys. It's going to be great. Everyone is just going to go, Oh, God, it's Ursilia Melkar. Miss Melkar. <laughs> going to be great. All right. This is pre-13. I think I want to restart the game at some point. You know. Let's move over some issues I'm seeing. Five points! Eight! That's not it. We can't do that. I can't swing that. At these prices? This master's degree in five years? Oh, no, you've gone the wrong direction. You're like ten hit points, though, and I mean, ten hit points is nice. I'm not arguing with that. What I'm saying is, you're gonna do better. I gotta get some more intelligence. No, that's minimum hit point, game. Okay? That's the wrong direction. This time, though, this time will be the one. Well, it was max HP. <laughs> Fine. 
whatever. I'll, 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 I'll take that. That way we're gonna have our intelligence be all pretty at 90. Yeah. Now. Okay, I will have to adjust that. So be it. I'm only gonna use this for, like, language skill training anyway, so... Time to restart the game. Give me a moment. Daggerfall. Oh no, I'm gonna be loading a save after restarting the game in that room. That's scary. Training service overhaul. Settings. 100, please. It's no wonder that it's, it's cost so much. Max value that skills can be trained to? 100, please. Yeah, because I'm paying for the highest quality because uh, that archaeologist uh, guild room is counting as a great hall. That makes sense. And just anything else. Cost can remain the same. Whatever. Play, please. That way I can bring the view back to the viewers. There we go. Hater shield has improved. There we go. There's the 87 that we need for max rank in the Archaeologist Guild. Great. Then we're going to cap out personality, then... Uh, I guess I could cap out intelligence, but it's, I'm a genius. I don't know what I'll do with these extra levels that we're absolutely going to be getting right now. Well, why not just make this game more exciting and interesting by continuing to level up this character? <laughs> Let's see where the road takes us. It's gonna be awesome. Also, yes, the face peeking out from under the hood. I said it was gonna be orcish? Yeah, let's keep training orcish. Priscilla becomes my highest level character on stream. <laughs> It capped out, didn't it? Sure did. I've never had 100 a mercantile before. <laughs> Crushing debt didn't get that high, but also I... I limited myself. Uh, in character creation, I couldn't pick disadvantages, and that was meant to uh, make the character level slower. That, you know, didn't have a mod that did change uh, how training system was balanced, but also did provide uh, some mercantile training in the process. Which means that you wouldn't want to train mercantile while doing this. <laughs> that's that's what I'm grokking here. I still have gold on hand too. That's that's enough gold for a really great magic item, Grimoth. You, you could do some crazy shit. Could, like improve your archery and everything. It would be super swell. Yeah, uh, what's the skill at? Fifty-three yeah. percent. Guidage.
So it was Daedric, Giantish, and Orcish. Impish got left by the wayside here. Uh, Etiquette took off. That was helpful. And Nymph I used there uh, for that quest. And the rest, well, they don't see much use, but there ain't a... Uh, we've, we've fought a number of harpies uh, as a linguist. The centaurs, the dragons, the spiros, and the spriggans. Uh, not really. And increasing these won't have our character level up. Archery is the dominant minor skill here. My medical skill has gone up. Alright, pre-level 14. Four points! No, not after the, the grievous wound you delivered unto me last level. Four! You're like, but hey, it's ten hit points again. No, not today, Satan. Seven hit points. All right, we're capped out there. I mean don't have an issue with them. They add some variants. Uh, Daggerfall Unity uh, and its extensive modifications and ease of use to customize. You know, its accessibility uh, permits adjustments uh, should you despise them for whatever reason. Nexus Mods, in fact, has a modification that just maxes everything for you. I don't care about it, and the only reason why it is happening here is because I'm able to nuance control when I'm leveling up because of how the percentage is incrementing, because I'm training one skill that levels my character at a time. That's right, Pongo. You know, I've said that so many times over the past couple of days, I feel like I've already entered like some sort of Dungeon Dragons Pathfinder zone where you can take a feat for that. You can multi-class for that. <laughs> All right, fuck it, we'll cap out intelligence. How much gold do I have on hand? Right, that's uh, that's enough for an amulet growth. Yeah. Okay, okay, we just, just fine. Just... Nothing else, we can enchant a mark of recall and we can, we can give the middle finger the archeologist guild. There's not going to be any soul gem enchanting, though, unless I get a Zora Star. Hmm. 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 <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Okay. Archery. And... Strike, so I don't... No, I, I want to be able to hit with my attacks. That would be nice. Hitting is nice. I like hitting. I have a Daedric weapon, but you know, I might miss. And I gotta make sure I hit. Yeah, it's it's no fun to miss people. Let's hit. No fancy name. Archery. Critical. Critical strike. Great. There. Ta-da! Critical Strike's now at 58%. I have a Daedric Weapon. 94 Acting Archery now. I'm gonna hit! I'm gonna deal so much damage with my attacks. I'm... well... I'm gonna hit! <laughs> there. Okay. Pop, 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 pop. We gotta, we gotta take the character for a spin. means we go back to archaeology we'll do one more thing for y'all one more thing 
We'll find one more sack of bones. Specialist. And I think that's gonna be my... Unless another thing pops out when I reach max rank. I think that'll be it for me in the Archaeologist Guild. Which means, uh... Next time I, I do this, may just... If I start the main quest, it's just going to be done. But we'll see. This, this character has some limitations still. Oh, God help me. <laughs> Good news! We get to listen to the Roland SC-55 version of this track. <laughs> I'm too good at Daggerfall. I'm too fucking good at Daggerfall. Hey, bud. Oh, you don't you don't like how I speak orc? Okay. Fine. Oh. Oh, the ketchup pants. Do note that as we are a higher level, I mean, it's not just going to be the uh, the monsters will have adjusted. The loot drops. A dragon! A fucking dragon? Wow. The dragon's dead, Jabber. We've slain a dragon. Stretch textures. Well, how can I leave? This dungeon's full of dragons. How often do we get to kill dragons? Game says dragon link, but they're dragon. Well, Daggerfall just celebrated its 26 year anniversary. You know, this song is almost tolerable, uh, from the Roland. Almost. Ebony Claymore? Does Unity version fix all the bugs? No, Daggerfall is too overambitious a video game. <laughs> Daggerfall Unity recreates the video game within the Unity engine and works very much so to smooth over a lot of the quirks while adding some of its own jank courtesy of the Unity engine and how it's constructed. If you're looking for a more accessible experience without worried about um, a quest breaking on you or falling into the void or a monster that you're hunting falling into the void, Play Dagger, uh, Daggerfall Unity. Thank you, Jar Jar. Thanks. It is free, much like the video game itself is free. Bethesda made both Arena and Daggerfall uh, available for free in 2009. <laughs> ah! They fall for my cunning ploy. Obviously, I could just leave this dungeon, but I did want to, uh... Test out how our fighting would be.
how you bring that head bobbing back right now. Turning off head bobbing. Such little of it that exists in Daggerfall Unity anyway. I hear you, giant. Hmm. So, can confirm, am hitting. Definitely not the damage output I want, but I am hitting. That said, we do okay for damage when we hit with all of our shots. With a Daedric Bow. I'm just used to how terrifying a melee character can be. I remember that uh, that enemies have hit point variants. All right. Hmm. Get a mork, sergeant. All right, I'll handle it. Wouldn't want you to turn into a lycanthrope, buddy. Really, this is also an excuse for me to allow viewers who do like this song to listen to this song. And then uh, we'll never hear it again. Ever. I think we've managed to overcome our phobias, in a sense. Spellcasting enemies in this video game are far more careful, uh, Daggerfall Unity, are far more judicious with their use in the sense of them usually not killing themselves. Though, uh, them fragging their enemies or their allies. That certainly happens. But, uh, liches aren't so cavalier about blowing themselves apart in Daggerfall Unity. Though that might change if, uh, I turned advanced combat AI off. Okay, then. I was pretty sure that scorpion would be dead by now. Mildly surprised if that's not so. Let's drink from my sippy cup. Okay. Well, that was fun. Marsilia, we still have some room to grow, and I don't actually think you're going to be capable of doing that much growth in that aspect, so we got our work cut out for us. What I'm saying. Leave that dragon alone. Hey, bud. Oh, bad move. Like, I'm still wearing the Lord's mail. Not use that item once. A Geo City site. It's been a long while. Well, all the in game books. Oh, different version of the graves can uh, delightfully be read uh, outside of the game as well through text files that come with the game files. You can even edit the books, should you so desire. That's not a thing of Daggerfall Unity. It's just you being able to access the text files easily enough. 
Daggerfall Unity does load the game files. Alright, I think we're done here. Here's your sack. Sure, give me this bra. The whatever, whatever powers it, it possesses. Let's go find out what powers it possesses. It's gonna enhance by dragonish skill. Okay, cast when held water walking. You know what? I don't hate it. It's a cast when held item instead of a cast when used item, but we'll always have access to water walking. Okay. And with that weight, that means that any potions of water walking I have, I can just get rid of. Nifty. We made a lot of money on that run. It doesn't look like it, but I pulled two Daedric Greaves. That is a... That is a colossal amount of cash. I'm gonna go to sleep, have a think about how much money I just made. And you know, because I didn't save in this reality with two greaves, I guess we'll save now. Let's uh, let's go see how much money I made with my 100 personality, 100 mercantile character. <laughs> hey, shopkeep, how you doing? Are you ready to pay me? Get, get, let's get the other stuff out of the way first. Not an inconsiderable sum. Uh-huh. 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 <laughs> Good. 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 I know. The, these garbage Daedric Greaves. <laughs> just... I do like the like the how the tone changes in these merchants uh, when you're like when your mercantile gets this high, and they're just like, "I'm fucking done haggling with you. You're gonna take this money and you're gonna get the hell out of my store." Yes, Daggerfall was over ambitious. My favorite role playing game, even though it's not a good game. Game I have put quadruple digit hours in between classic Daggerfall and now Daggerfall Unity, I suppose. But I'd have a hard time recommending this game to people. It's. It's really got to be in your wheelhouse of what you want out of. I heard someone describe this game as a fantasy life simulator, and it just started making me froth at the mouth. Like, you do not understand Daggerfall at all. <laughs> it's a game where you have a character and you go in dungeons. Do you like being in dungeons? No? Then don't play this video game. <laughs> Do you like being in dungeons? Good, that's a good first start. Now, can you tolerate the dungeons looking as they do in this video game? With their numerous similarities, not just the same modules, but similar looking modules arrayed in different 
patterns, or sometimes the same module adjacent to each other. No? Well, I got bad news for you. That's what's in this video group. Now, some of them, you just walk in and it won't be a care in the world. There'll be nothing complicated about it. But every now and then, there'll be a, a switch or some item you touch laying on the ground or a, or a skull or a torch. You'll interact with it and it does something. And most of the game, that doesn't happen. And so you're not prepared for it. You're like, yeah, yeah, I came from early wizardry games or whatever. That sort of thing's expected. But Daggerfall lulls you into thinking that's not going to be the case. But then it starts happening. <laughs> oh no, Ogre gets <laughs> Uh... Why I keep coming back to Daggerfall is not for the nostalgia, though. I can play it and still see so much in it. It's how the game, like, continues to capture, like, me. It, while I do not think this is a good video game, like, it remains my favorite for what the game brings to the table. And it's just not something I can get elsewhere. To the extent that I choose to play with Daggerfall Unity when I usually don't do modifications. And Daggerfall Unity very much is a recreation of Daggerfall. And for this particular run, to celebrate the return of the Linguist character that has been my most popular run over the years, I added a few further modifications. So, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do with this money. Whether it's going to result in me crafting more magic items next time, me spending two real-life hours training my, my language skills to level up even further, I don't know, it's a lot of gold. <laughs> I could actually summon a Daedra, because the Archaeologist Guild has a Daedra summoner. Huh. A lot of options available. That's future Grimace thoughts. A current Grimace. Levels the character. Okay. Went from level 5 at the start of this broadcast to level 14, actually progressing the linguist along in her various paths. We were being tapped out with the Archaeologist Guild reputation, and it's just only a matter of in-game time passing before we reach the final rank of that. Uh, but unless any new quests like actually pop up, then I am done exploring uh, everything that uh, Hazelnut and JH uh, brought there. Really enjoyed it. Our uh, skills remain Daedric, Giantish, Orcish, Etiquette, Impish, and Nymph, Centaurian, Dragonish, Harpy, Spriggan, Streetwise, and Archery. Nine language skills, two speech skills that basically act as languages, and then one combat skill. And then the rest. 100 speed, 100 personality, near 100 intelligence, level 14, and with the skill advance of a dagger where it is, if I want, this character could go really far in levels. But we have more than enough levels to complete the main quest. And this character's got the power to do that, without me being overly concerned. I have, uh, I've done more with less than what she has now. And our advantages and disadvantages, uh... The Bretonian resistance to magic is fusing with the class resistance to magic to create an immunity to magic. We have immunity to poison, fire, and shock. We are an expert in missile weapon that is getting stronger as we level up, uh, but we do still have a phobia to undead, daedra, humanoids, and animals. We can't do anything with spells of the character. Our 100 intelligence, uh, uh, 
what will be 100 intelligence. It's not giving us any spell points. And so they didn't gain too many hit points per level. I picked up Acute Hearing and Rapid Healing General. So the total for the character is a max hit point pool for the class of 8, which for her translates to gaining 6 to 10 hit points per level. <laughs> is it this game or Morrowind where you get attacked by ninjas who have tons of uh, so like you may have random enemies spawn on you on at night when you're in town or part of a quest or part of the main quest line but I wouldn't say ninjas come out of the woodwork to come flay your flesh flinge your skin from your bones in this video game Anyway, I've been going for seven hours. I'm out of here. I expect to continue broadcasting.